Go ahead, buddy. Thank you, Jay. Welcome to our game of Forgotten Waters. Uh, we're going to be playing the first scenario. Um, and three people here are brand new, so we're going to be going over it as if I haven't played either, because that makes it easier for everybody to learn. Um, with me, I have Jay Chelansky. Yo, 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 yo. I have Connor. Hey, guys, how's it going? And I have our good friend Spencer. Aloha. So we're, uh, we're doing a four-player game. Um, hopefully this looks pretty good for you can see. Let us know if you have any questions as we play. We'll try to answer them as we go. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to run down a quick how to play. They've been briefed lightly, but I'll be going into the uh, game a little bit more detail here. Um, so we're going to be doing the first scenario, the, uh, uh, let's see, what's it called? Beyond Ocean's Edge. Um, we're going to be doing the, uh, playing the actual, how, like, what the beginning story is here. Um, we've all created our pirates. Uh, with our Mad Libs, and we'll go through those real quick, and then we'll run down how to play. So I am uh, the Skeleton Pirate, uh, Captain Quick McDicken. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, we are children. We are children, it's fine. Uh, Alright, so, <clears throat> the backstory of the Skeleton Pirate. I've served on a dozen pirate ships under legendary, under legendary pirates like Josie Two Eyes and the dreaded Mariah uh, Pangolin Tongue. I've led charge against countless foes in battle and proven my worth as a shipmate and warrior time and time again. I've amassed rare treasures like the Crown of the Eagle, the Crimson Capo Cavalier, and the Gilded Blade uh, of Sarazan. I've traveled to distant lands like the Monastery O Silent Salamander in the Forbidden City of Guava and the Tomb of the Sleeping uh, Chupacabra. Uh, sorry, I had to two and then read that again. Uh, I'm a true pirate with love for the sea and the eye for adventure. And I ain't, as several of me fellow pirates continue to claim, a magically animated skeleton. These rumors continue to dog me and follow me from ship to ship. But how could I possibly be a magically animated skeleton? That ain't possible. I'm a pirate and a damn good one. And not a magically animated skeleton. <laughs> so, when you make a character in this game, you pick a name. Let's see if that's easy to see. Oh, look at a second. So you pick a name. And uh, you'll have a constellation of things you'll fill out. And then on the inside, you do a Mad Libs of sorts. Uh, a Mad Libs to s fill out your character's story. And uh, it's actually pretty funny. So you'll have a chance to read your backstory and add them in. And then depending on your ending, um, depending on how good you do in the game, you get an ending. And that also adds to the Mad Libs getting there too. So that's, that's actually a lot of fun. Um, so I'm the Skeleton Pirate. Uh, Spencer, what do you got? I am the debater pirate. The debater. All right. Hit me. Named Slippery Squid, the well endowed. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. I was the smart one in my fan. Oh. I, okay. We're doing this in an accent. Okay. Yeah. I was the smart one in my family, and they scraped together enough coin to send me to Cambridge, <laughs> so I could earn a degree in gynecology. <laughs> well, okay. But I refused. It wasn't that I didn't want an education, but I was born contrarian, so I argued that they were better off giving it to Stacy, the empty-headed wench who worked down from Groggy Greco. <laughs> Sadly, they did just that, then told me to shove off. Oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> Unsure of what to do with myself, I decided to join my old friend Candy Seaman, who had just signed up with a pirate ship. Life aboard the ship was difficult at first, as following orders wasn't exactly in a strong suit. But after a couple stints in the brig, being lashed to the mast, and then most unpleasant Neil Holland, or Keel Holland, okay, I learned to hold my quarrelsome tongue. Indeed, I eventually became a well-respected member of the crew, and Candy Seaman and I left for better pay and jobs aboard a new ship. Control and my thirst for debate ain't easy, and when I do get the chance to let it out, I tend to go a little too far. Twain says it's because I'm a natural ass, but I like to think somewhere <laughs> in the there's a job for someone good at arguing like I am. Perfect. All right, so uh, I am Jonah Albatross, the doomed pirate. Okay. <clears throat> Few pirates have whispered, witnessed their own death, but I have. When I signed on to Captain Matt O'Malley James's crew, I had only thoughts of an easy voyage and a quick payday. But the fool was obsessed with treasures found in ancient and cursed ruins. We followed the captain to IRS Audit Cove on ruins of an ancient treasure in a mysterious cave. But the treasure was cursed. Each person who touched the treasure saw the moment of their own death, including me. The vision came in a whirlwind, but I clearly saw signs of the rusty hook and the roar of a cannon. The visions haunt my dreams as I search for a way to change me fate before I run out of time. Perfect. What do we got? 
What do we got, Jake? Who, me? Yeah, you. <coughs> I be short stand copper, the long lost cousin of Long John Silver. Perfect. I be the duelist pirate. Alright, okay, that's alright. I've place. spent me entire life studying the art of the sword. <laughs> He's stabbing me off camera. Sorry. Under the tutelage of the legendary swordsman, I excelled and became an unmatched warrior. This ultimately my master's downfall, as even he could not defeat me in the battle to the death. Wow, I'm kind of, I'm kind of a badass. I didn't read this before. Yeah. I, just, I just kind of picked one. I, I, it became clear to that I would never find another capable of matching me skills in me homeland. So I've taken to the seas in search of a greater challenge. Luckily, a privateer vessel can always use a few more hands skilled with a blade. There's no shortage of ships for someone with my expert abilities and exploring spirit. Life on a pirate barge isn't quite what I'm used to. The quarters are cramped, the food is revolting, and there's a serious guppy problem in the crew quarters. <laughs> Be that it is May, I will continue to serve on the dilapidated husk of a ship until I find someone worthy of challenging me. After all, me blade has claimed 300 lives, and I cannot rest until I find the person who can best me. Perfect. That's actually pretty good. I didn't realize the skeleton pirate was going to be not totally not a magically animated skeleton. I'm so, not a skeleton. The, the best part of this was with the Mad Lib, I didn't... Like, Evan didn't really explain to us what everything was until later, so, uh, which I think is the best way if you're gonna do this for new players. Just, just do it, yeah. So, like, the Guppy and, like, the 300 were part of the Mad Lib. I didn't even read the story. That's the yeah, best so. is, honestly, to do that, so it's funny when you read it. Yeah. I don't, like, right, like, Mad Lib's always best. We have no idea what's coming up. <laughs> yeah. um, okay, so how the game's gonna go is, uh, in this scenario, we have to figure out, uh, right now our current uh, mission is... Uh, reach the per uh, precip per piece? I can't spell. Precipice. Can't read. Precipice Island on 963. So we have to get there. He's just a raccoon, everyone. I can't. Big words make brain no work good. Uh, so we have to reach there. Um, our we have a couple failure scenarios. If um, if our crew track here, this little guy here, Arr. ever meets the discontent, we lose. Yeah. Um, we can. Uh, supplies let us do stuff. If we run out, we don't lose there. Um, if our hull ever reaches zero, uh, that we lose. Um, and there's a couple other conditions that might pop up. Um, this track here is uh, the order of who gets to play three guy when we get to that phase of the game. Uh -huh. So first, right now it's going to be Jay, then Connor, then Spencer, then me. Um, and this is actually where the real game, this book here. So the book will tell you to open to a certain page. And then you have 40 seconds. We're not going to um, time it exactly just because it, yeah, it's just easier to do it like this, but we'll go pretty quick. Do not read the actual what each thing does and just look by the symbols. So, like, for example, like the um, ready cannons will probably get you a gun skill and then you ready a cannon. Uh, that and so they match up to... Yes. We've, we've got icons on our little sheets of paper in front of us and they'll match up to that. <laughs> yeah, so how it works is... Right here. On our, on our sheets... You've got stats, and each time you, uh, you usually say gain a stat, do something. So you fill it in. Each time you hit a star, uh, you'll fill out one of your constellation grids here. And each every time you hit an exclamation point on your constellation grid, you'll fill out another part of your story. And then if you hit all five, you get legendary pirate. If you have four, you're good. Three and below is bad. So you want to play cooperatively, but you also want to kind of try to get the best ending for your character. Like... You, it's better to all win together, but you also want that legendary ending. Sometimes your your yeah. bad endings are like, you, you died alone. Sorry, pal. Better luck the next time. Um, okay, so we got the board set up for the first scenario. Okay. We got the book out. Okay. Um, we got everyone's got in charge of certain uh, jobs. Do we? Uh, that's uh, what's next to us. Okay, so uh, that so, actually yeah. So explain. Go. So we each have we each have a, a reminder card that you can only have four treasure. Yeah, we got our paper. Reminder card and... And this particular scenario said everybody starts with one treasure. That's what this is. Okay. Yellow's treasure. Okay. Um, and they all do certain things. It's like okay. some of them, like Connor's, are certain stat increases. Or just base stats. So he gets a hunting and a navigation just for having that. So when you roll, how a skill check would go is it'll say, you roll it. And for example, if we're looking at this one, a one through four does something, five through eight does something, nine, and all that. So you, t you roll one and then you add your stat. 
So uh, right now we all have zero, mm -hmm. but eventually we'll get more. And so you'll roll and be like, if you have four hunting, you'd add four, and that has to be 14. Okay. To add to, uh, I probably have to explain this as we go because yeah, I'm just listening. So. That's perfect. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, uh, and then we'll get to some of the other other things here. You can get rerolls. I get only have one good ear, lad. I yeah. need you to speak a little louder. Um, <laughs> so there's treasures. Um, there's reroll tokens. I'll let you reroll a die. Um, these are misfortune. They're like um, uh, uh, there's a D and D term for it. But you roll two dice and take the lower. Yep. Um, Disadvantage, yeah. So this would be a disadvantage token. Once you roll two dice, you throw it out, and then you're good. Okay. Um, these are reminders for when you hit a, a constellation event. Yep. Um, eventually, because uh, not at the end of every story, you might, like, it, it says read your constellation event, generally at the end of every so often, but sometimes it's not for a while, so it's just a reminder that you, you got one coming. Okay. Um, so uh, the other part about this game that's really cool is the audio. So you put in the scenario. Okay, and... so explain, number one, let's start. So someone who's never played... Okay. There's an app version. Yeah, you need uh, yeah, an addi it's not a version, it's additional piece of the game. Correct. It's a website or an app. Or on your phone. Okay, so you we have it loaded up on this laptop over here. Yep. Go ahead, and, and what does that do for um, us? So generally, there's numbers on these tiles. Yep. So it'll say, where are you? And you put in the number, and then uh, a voice actor will read off something that happens to you. Who's the voice actor? Uh, God, it's, it's Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z from all of them. I don't remember his name. There's actually a lot of them, but I don't remember his name, but you can hear him. Every time he gets mad, you can hear it come out just a little yeah, bit, yeah. and it's, a Kakarot! It's pretty, it's pretty fantastic. So, uh, but we got the scenario set up. We're ready to go, so I'm going to hit the go. Okay. And, uh, yeah, just hit, uh... Hit play? Yep. A world that stretched so far and wide that not even the royal monks could claim to make it over. But as the years passed and the world twisted, the legend of Sunset faded and most forgot about its wonder. Most except Captain Jesbet J. Vance. He never for a moment questioned that Sunset was real and spent his life searching for it. Now an old man, he has decided to set off on one last adventure to find the fabled waters of Sunset and has convinced you to join him. Your quest begins in search of the fabled Clearing Stone. Captain Vance is convinced it is the key to getting into Sunset. You have struck some luck in acquiring a map that should lead you to the stone, but none of you can understand it in its entirety. Because of this, you sail to Precipice Island, where an old friend of the captain may be able to decipher the map. The quest seems easy enough, but Captain Vance's previous adventures have made him some enemies. Most notable of which is the Royal Mont family, who have hired the notorious Captain Razor to hunt you down. Oh no. Alright, so next it says, uh, begin on uh, first round on page 19. So, page 19. So we're in the port. Oh, good. Are we done? No red ones, nice. Okay, so... Yar. So now, normally it's you get 40 seconds to put your guy down. Um, we're going to be a little lenient on that just because it's everyone's first time and it's just easier, but as fast as you can. So how these work is blue. <laughs> oh, yeah, it plays a little like I don't know if you guys can hear that on stream, but there's like a little background noise. Like It's almost like Sirenscape for D&D. &D. Yeah, yeah, It's yeah. pretty cool. Um, the blue ones, only one person can go on. Uh -huh. Green ones, Yar. as many as you want to go. And then, for example, I'm just... Grab a random page here. Red, you have to go to if they okay. want. So, so we don't we don't read them. We just go. We just, yeah, just 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 go. So, so give us yeah. Do the timer. Let's. All right. Can you? Yeah. Oh, I just, I'm yeah, sorry. Just okay. hit start timer. Forty. Everyone gets forty seconds. So pick one. Oh, I'll go. Oh, darn. Yeah. All right, and then. Yeah. You. All right. I'll do captain's mission. All right. Stop. Okay. We did it. All right. Now we go through. So we go through from. Top to bottom. So first is market. That's uh, me. I'm at the market. Okay. So you are. I be at the market. So uh, do you need any silk? Uh, swagger, swagger increases by one. So fill out yep. swagger. Okay. And you hit a star. So put fill in one of your stars. Any way I want to go. From the black one out, and they all have mm -hmm. to touch. And then when I reach an exclamation point, I get I start again, right? Yeah. When we reach an exclamation point, you just kind of keep. Okay, go on. So for anybody on stream, you can kind of see this. I'm filling out my my star thing. So we um, so we did that here. Uh, so I'm gonna spin it so I can read it here. Um, so you got swagger. Then you're going to uh, roll a die. So roll a 
do a swagger check. So roll your D12. Swag Arr, swagger check coming up. And then add one to it. How be ye, miss her? Uh, two, two, so we got three. So you get to choose one of these options below. All right. Um, get supplies for the crew, plus two supplies. Uh -huh. We're good. We're good. Uh, gather news from the locals. Get one reroll. Okay. Um, get something nice. Spend one supply to gain a treasure. Mm -hmm. uh, get a cool haircut. Spend one supply to gain infamy plus two. That'll move you up the track. You're already, you're already there. Yep. Get a cannon. Spend two supplies to gain one loaded level two cannon or lower. Or I'd be a fighter, so I feel like my character would get the cannon. Okay. Then, so we'll uh, spend the two supplies. We go from ten to eight. Car. And then put the plus two. And get us a two. cannon. It's loaded, right? Yep. Yeah, okay, right. cool. All right, so next is... Yeah, you're tips, welcome, lots. The tipsy tortoise. Gain one exploration. I love that Evan's just powering through as I'm just... <laughs> I'm like, yeah, uh, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, yep, yeah, that's good, yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay. uh, one explanation, perform an explanation check. So roll a d12. One. One. Is no one. <laughs> uh, uh -oh. So you get a reroll. Okay. Next is uh, the psychic shanty. Uh, intimidate the barkeep. Plus one crew. Okay. Uh, plus one brawn. Okay. And then perform a brawn check. All right. Is there another one? Oh, okay. So that's a six, right? That's a six. So uh, read entry 303. Pop 303 into there for me. Aha! Uh -huh. 30, oh, then hit ER. ER! Then hit the play. You have placed your faith in a fool. You do not see him for who he truly is. And this blind faith will lead you and those near you to a haze my sight cannot be. Good job. So, um, discontent plus one, misfortune plus one, lock action four. I knew it. I knew I was cursed. I it's seen my own death. This is more proof. <laughs> so, it's like, so if it's we like, kind of like JFK. If uh, <laughs> so we, raw, I am cursed. So now that it's uh, now it's locked, we can't go back there. If we if we're right oh. back here again. Oh. You just like she just told you to get out. Um, captain's mission. Choose two of the fall. Oh no, I'm sorry. Uh, fill in the next captain's mission box. So captain's mission. Fill up the top one. And read the entry. What is it? Uh, zero four eight. Should pop in zero four eight. R zero four eight. Coming up. Heading to zero four eight. Yard. 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 Then hit that. Hit that. <laughs> Gathered around a fire. You and some of the crew listen to the captain read from one of his books. Our witches have a ten. Says. Despite their ability to shapeshift, each form they might take will still carry the blackened spot upon the back of their neck. Beware the mark, for it means a witch in hiding. A witch in her true form is an allured and hideous sight. Pale violet skin, eyes that glow like starlight, and the captain's voice trails off as Big Henry begins to snuffle. Tears rolling down his cheeks. Why is it, Big Henry? Vance sighs. But the witch coming. The large man falls, <laughs> pointing at a mole on his neck. Big Henry, you're not a witch. Groans Captain Vance. Now, all of you listen to me. I ain't reading this for fun. You'll understand soon enough. But this stuff could save your lives one day. Everyone grows silent and listens as the old man picks up where he left off. All right, so it says, uh... Game of skill of my choice. I'll take hunting. Big Henry, you're not a witch. <laughs> <laughs> the good one, witch captain. So now that we we went through once, um, put in uh, hit done. All right, all right, captain. And now hit uh, eight oh eight. Eight oh eight, coming up. New heading. <laughs> oh, someone's into this. <laughs> Yar. It's been our thing. Like, okay, so uh, threat plus one. So what this is is this is our timer, the threat track. So if, uh, if we hit the threat track so many times, we lose. That's the only way we lose. We want to kind of keep moving toward the mission. Mm -hmm. um, right now, so we've threat plus one. Each player with a high infamy proceeding clockwise. Okay, so anybody who, did you, anyone hit a constellation event? No. Nope. Okay, so we're good. Um, then the player with the highest infamy must choose one of the following. So we can either stay here or move. That's me. Yep. And we don't want to lose a crew, right? Yeah, if we stay, you lose a crew. All right, let's leave. Okay, then go to leave. Arr, I choose to leave, <laughs> <Captain>. <laughs> Okay. Arr. Now what? 
Okay. Uh, the highest infamy player moves the ship one space. Read the entry listed on the new space. Yep. Our... So just, we want to get to there. That's our current okay. objective. So this is where we are? Yep. Uh, okay, I'll give a little shuffle. There is nothing to read, Captain. There we go. Uh, 18. 18? So put in 081. 0, zero. Eight. Zero one eight. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I'm Hello, like, zero I am legitimately eight, a little dyslexic. <laughs> zero one eight. <laughs> Yar. The hit play. Here we go. <laughs> play. You approach an unexplainable shape on the horizon and see it sink beneath the waves. Its strange shape, briefly glimpsed, is disquieting as it suggests the presence of a creature of enormous size. Many among the crew begin muttering prayers. The waves grow larger soon after that, and before you know it, the ship is being tossed about along the edge of a large storm. And you are not alone. A royal frigate, also battling the waves, is drawn to your location. All fear of the strange shape is lost as your crew bravely prepares for a fight. So, uh, remove navigation token from the game. All players gain one reroll. Uh, turn to page 55. Uh, is Hawkeye written on the ship's log? Uh, no. Nope. Okay, so uh, hit no. So we go to page 55. Everyone gains Set dial A to 7. Set dial B to, neg uh, to 4. Sorry. Everyone gains a reroll. A to seven, B to four. Okay. Yep. Uh, yep. A is the enemy hull. B is the enemy sails. Okay. So uh, destroy the enemy's hull if you want to sink them. Take out their sails if you want to board them. Okay. So uh, now hit the time. Time is coming up. And then yeah, pick one. So you're first. Then Connor. Then Spencer. Then me. I'll rally the crew, Captain. I will load the cannon. Okay. Oh, well, I'll go fire a cannon. Actually, uh, I will also fire. All right, done. All right, we did it. 24 seconds remaining. <laughs> okay, so now um, rally. So gain one swagger, then perform a swagger check. Swagger check. Coming up, Captain. Do it. Hey, you're pretty good at that. Nine. And I have two, so it's a... Uh, you, have, uh, you have two there. Yeah. So, yeah, you're right, but it's just there. So, okay, swagger. Uh, so we got 11. Uh, da, 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 da. Choose three of the following options below. Choose three uh -huh. other. Um, uh, reroll one may get one reroll may choose multiple times. Choose another player that player gains one skill of your choice. Choose another player that player gains two rerolls, or uh, reduce either dial by one. And I get to pick two. Uh, choose three options three. below. The f you get three, but the first one's the only one you can do multiple times. Okay, so uh, I'll choose t load the cannons. He'll get the two rerolls. So, uh, yeah, okay, he gets two rerolls. Yeah, because he's going to be loading cannons, so I want to make sure that that happens. Um, I'll re can I reduce their hull? So yeah. We, yeah, let's that. reduce A by one. Okay. And then uh, and then what's the skill options? You for... just, anybody you want gets a skill. Um, okay, let's, uh, let's give Evan uh, the aim skill. Okay. Since he's going to be firing. Yeah, more star. Yeah, I would have done that in me pirate voice, but it seemed more important. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, boom. There we go. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Um, okay, load cannons. Choose two of the following. Uh, spend one supplies to flip one cannon from its unloaded side to its loaded side. Uh, inf uh, you can gain infamy plus one. You may choose this multiple times, but you can gain a reroll. So you get two of those. Okay, I will uh, take the infamy plus one. Oh, okay. So, are you green? Yep. And then I uh, will spend a supply to flip all our last cannon, so all three are now loaded. Okay. There you go. Um, then it goes in for me, so it's you. Okay. Um, fire cannons. Aim plus one. Choose one of the following targets, uh, enemy hull or enemy sails. Perform an aim check before rolling. You may flip one loaded cannon to its side to gain that benefit of a plus. Um, so roll, so you can choose to roll, like get plus five or plus three. Mm -hmm. You might as well just do a plus five, like let's, let's go for it. All right. So plus five, did you want to do one of those? Uh, sure, yeah. Five. So hit that. Yep. So plus five. You roll the one, and you've got two re-rolls, so you can spend one to, to re-roll that. Uh, yeah. Okay. So do we have to declare which one we're shooting at first? 
yes, actually. Did you want to shoot the hull or the sails? Uh, we already got the hull down by one, so we'll do the hull. Okay, yeah, so okay. the hull is difficulty six. So you hit uh, 11 oh, plus 5 plus what's your name? Uh, 1. Well, so we got 16? 17. 17? Uh, reduce target by 2, gain 1 infamy. So the when, two, I, when I when I increase the aim uh, skill eight. here, there was a star eight down to four. Yep. Mm -hmm. So fill uh, right. next. Uh, yep. Perfect. For each star you roll, you get fill out one of those little dots that connect to each other. Evan, how many players can we have? Seven. Seven. Yep. Uh, it goes it goes three to seven. Um, best with four. Three works. One person takes the. The orange pirate becomes a uh, uh, like a token whoever's in the lead gets. Mm -hmm. um, and that works, but the best is when you have the more actual people. Because a lot of arguments kind of pop out and they're like, but they're not like fun. Because it's like, no, I want to do this. No, I want to do this. It's not like, uh, all right, I'll get a name. Here's my other star. Um, all right, I will take a, give me a plus three. Okay. I'll shoot at the, what are the sales at? Three? The sales are at four. four. Oh, both are at four. Okay, I'll, um, I'll shoot at the hull. Okay. All right. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That puts me just under. Uh, oof. Do I reroll and hope for one more? Uh, I'm a little over average. Um, nah. I'll keep it. So I'll just reduce it by one. Okay. I'll leave it by one. <coughs> okay. And so now, um, put an eight twenty six. Eight two six, Captain. Yar! Did the ship move this round? I... Uh, no. We haven't. No. Is dial A at zero? Uh, no. No! <laughs> That'll be at zero, no. No! Uh, Alright. Okay, they attack. So we'll die. Do I play this yeah. audio? Yeah, yeah. Play the audio! They attack. <laughs> <laughs> they attack. Well, All thank right, you, Mr. Uh, three. So, three to seven. Three to seven. Reduce hull, crew, and or supplies by a total of three. Okay. So what is this? So we that's have crew. To crew. Let's uh, because we can split and we can mix and match. Yeah, um, it says and or, and or. Okay, so let's do. I'll do one supply, two supplies, and one. Well, you want supply, one crew, one hull. We yeah. got plenty to. Okay. Because this, like, we lose if either of those go down. I've got this card here. Mm -hmm. uh, catch supplies, I can discard to gain three supplies. Okay. So in case it gets low, I can toss it to... Well, and I, I have one for two supplies, too. All right, perfect. Oh. Yeah, okay. So I can discard this when you lose one or more crew, lose zero crew instead, and gain discontent one. Uh, discontent's yeah. scary. Yeah. Because um, it's hard to get rid of. Okay, so hit the round timer again. Okay, here we go. Timer up. 40 seconds. <laughs> I, yeah, they are yeah I go first, uh, actually, okay. no. Then Walsh. What? You're first? Yeah, yep. yeah. Okay. So I'm then going you. to uh, load the cannons. Okay. Um, we'll fire again. Okay, uh, your turn. Yeah, they're D12s, right? Yeah, they are D12s, yeah. Uh, oh, goodness. Rally the crew again. Okay, I'll uh, fire again. Uh, all right, so we're good. So rally the crew, uh, gain the swagger. Roll a swagger check. Gain a swagger and then roll a swagger check. Uh, me? Yeah. Okay, so... Got it? Okay. So, seven plus, seven plus three. So, ten. Uh, choose two. So, gain a reroll, choose another player to gain a skill, um, choose another player to gain two rerolls, or reduce uh, either dial by one. Um, okay, so... Who's shooting? I'll give... Uh, yeah. Okay, I'll give... Uh, I'll give Evan the, re the two rerolls for the shooting. And I maxed out on my, my shooting skill. I will reduce the hull by one. Yeah, you just get two, so. Okay. Cool. So, Sounds good. target A is now two, target B is still four. Okay. Uh, Connor, you go. Okay, I just am the going to... I'm going to spend uh, one supply to reload the uh, level two cannon. Okay. And uh, I will take a reroll. Okay. All right, you first, Spencer. Okay, uh, aim plus one. Okay. Uh, choose the one shot. Give me hall, die, and sales. Perform. 
Yeah. We're pretty, we're at two on the hull, so we might yes. be able to sink them. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I will do the uh, the heavy, the two thing. The, the plus five? Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Four? Uh, yeah, so I probably would. Yeah, I agree with that. Oh, jeez, sorry. Yeah. So, f- 5 plus 1 plus, plus 2. Uh, so, 5 plus 1, that's 6 to 12. Uh, target by 1. Okay, so it's on the last one. Come on, you can bring it home. Come on, Evan. I gave you those rerolls. Let's do it. Uh, choose a uh, aim. Or a full I've aim. been rallying the crew! Eight oh, nice. Eight. Oh, I'll take a... Oh, I forgot a cannon. That's fine. Uh, 8 plus my 2 You only got 10. one cannon. Yeah, so I'll take a... Uh, I'll just knock it down by 1. That's it. That's yep. zero. Okay, so that so does that. Okay. Um, then we're done. So eight twenty six again. Our captain heading eight twenty six. Inputting into the compass. Yar! Did the ship move this nope. round? No. no. Is dial A to zero? Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. Hit it. What is it for? Tries the enemy crew as their boat sinks, but you all grunt in disapproval. We have. Welcome <laughs> aboard! <laughs> uh, crew plus two. Nice. Uh, if infamy, the highest player of the ship is one sp- okay. Move it one space and say the new space. Oh, uh, you. So what does that mean? The player with the highest infamy moves the boat. Okay. okay. So he's the highest infamy. Um, and we're going for this uh, pink island here. Yep. We can't move through the rocks. Right. So shortest path is like there. Okay. Right. Yeah. So I'll move there. Okay. And that's now a random tile, right? Yep. Uh, 29. Okay, tw- so 29? Yep. Yar! Aye, aye, Captain. Zero, two, nine? Yes. Yar! Yar! You don't see nothing, Nick. <laughs> top, okay. top guns, Loki hiding under the laptop. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? All of a sudden I just knock everything off the table. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. You and the crew land a rowboat on a small island. On it, you find the ruin of a village that has been burned to the ground. Oh, you're supposed to have been racing. A crewman says, The embers are still on. You come across what looks like a charred corpse, but when you attempt to search it, its eyes open. <sighs> Please. <laughs> It's you. I'm at one. You're at one, so you get to. Uh, you get to stay, stay with or, the burning corpse or leave. Uh, you stay, decide. Stay or uh, let her die alone. Uh, leave or stay. Leave or stay. <laughs> We're pirates. Let her die alone. Oh, let her die yes. alone. Arr, good choice, lad. <laughs> All right. Hey, here we go. Oh, uh, we got this one here, I think. When you and the crew return to the ship empty handed, you don't tell anyone about what you saw. Uh. Remove navigation token twenty from the game. Misfortune plus one. Go to page Uh-oh. three. Check threat. Uh oh. So, misfortune plus one. You shouldn't have done that. Oh, we forgot your misfortune. Oh, you didn't even roll a die. All right, that's fine. Last game. Uh, remove navigation token twenty nine from the game. So who's doing misfortune? So we're plus one on misfortune. No, not misfortune's not a. It's oh, like okay. one person rolls after roll two. Got, got gotcha. He didn't roll. Okay. Last time. Um, go turn, turn to page, page three. three. Check, threat. check out threat. Uh oh, this, this isn't. This good. makes it more fun. This yeah, isn't good. Our, we don't want fun lab. Okay, we want to survive. So, uh, check threat. Threat is good. It doesn't say to add threat in that one, so we're okay. No. Okay. Um, so, okay, page three. So, go to done. All right. Aye, aye, captain. And then uh, now we... So, the red ones, we have to do. Mm-hmm. And then blues are one and greens are anybody. So, uh, hit go. Now, it's first is going to be Connor. Sorry. Okay. 40 right, seconds. I'm going to fish. Okay. Uh, we will turn course. Okay, I'll sail. So you have to go to Hungry Crew. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. So, so what's the what's the skull and crossbones? Uh, okay. That's, so <coughs> right now, choose one. Uh, hit the stop the timer. Stop the timer. Hi, okay, Captain. Uh, uh, choose one of the following. Feed the Hungry Crew. Spend a number of supplies equal to the current hunger. So right now it'd be five. 
if you do not have enough supplies, you cannot choose this option. Infamy plus one, discontent minus one. Um, ask them to go hungry, discontent plus two, swagger plus one, yep. infamy plus one. Uh, let them raid the supplies. Infamy plus four. Supplies are set to zero. Discontent plus two. Otherwise, lower supplies to zero. So, um, if you do the feed them, I can just get rid of this to give us plus three and I'll keep it. Okay, us. so minus uh, how much? Five. five. And so we're at three. one and then plus three, so yeah. we're at four. All right. Okay. Then, uh, Our supplies are at four, Captain! You gain an infamy? Infamy. <laughs> and uh, we get discontent minus one. That's really what I wanted. So, what is it? Uh, okay, so do I gain... Gain the what was the swagger for that? That was um, Skull and that bones. was if you did the asking to go hungry. Oh okay. Swagger. Oh, use my swagger for that. You well, you just get a bonus one there, but uh, gotcha. that gives us two discontent and okay. discontent's just scary. It's hard to get rid of. Aye aye. Chart the course. Chart, Chart the course. Exploration plus one. Exploration plus one. I'm up to there. Um, oh, then pen. perform an exploration check. Plus two is five. Uh, so one through fifteen. It's got two spaces. Okay. So what are you gonna do? Uh, take two, and you put them like connecting around the boat. Do I look at them? Yeah, yeah. You, you pick them up and flip them. Yeah, Mr. Uh, Istro. Um, there's also the uh, the remote play in the app too. I was reading about mm -hmm. uh, where you don't even have to be in the same room to play the game, which is super neat. Dude, that's actually. way cool. Yeah, you can just kind of take turns, like. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. Then fish. So gain one plus one hunting. All right. And then perform a hunting check. Okay. So I have to roll twice, take Lewis right now because yep. I. Uh... Yes. Yeah. All right. Okay, what'd you get? So I got a four. Then yep. you, just, you just take on the die if you want. All right. And I got a three. So nice. take the three. Yeah. You can, uh, I think you spend a re roll on the three. Then it'd be stuck with a four. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, just got a three. So three plus your hunting? Uh, which is currently a one. Okay, so no. four. I do have a treasure here that I could use. Well, that just, that's just permanent stat. Oh, okay. So, so. Um, I actually have a plus one to uh, hunting from my stuffed ferret. Okay. So it's a. <laughs> <laughs> so just give me give me a final total. <laughs> uh, final total five. Okay, five. Five is five three plus one supply. Okay. Bingo. All right. And then this. Um, I do sail. There. Navigation plus one. Evan, yes. as captain, you've been warned from the chat that our shortcut doesn't look good. The shortcut around the rocks doesn't look like it's a kid's shortcut. <laughs> it's uh, you know, there's. This is an island. Right? Islands aren't always bad. <laughs> so uh, well, I put the island there instead of the. Fog. Yeah, the fog is, uh, fog's not bad, right? <laughs> All right, then for nav check. All right, here we go. Nav check. Eight, uh, nine. Uh, infamy plus one. You may spend supplies in or hold to move the ship. For every two supplies or hull, you move, move ship one. Yeah, we'll I have a ship. thing I can discard to give us more supplies. If we, okay, how yeah. many? Uh, two. They do that. Our two more supplies. Uh, We'd be at seven in the... Hooper. And the Hooper. <laughs> uh, then uh, uh, we'll do um, drop two supplies into the boat one. All right. Move it to 30. We're down to five. Okay. Yar, uh, 30. 30. Here we go, boys. Zero, three, zero. Yar! Okay, it says, are you sure you meant to read? Oh, oh you know what? I hit, uh, I'm sorry, hit, uh, uh, whoops, go back. Whoops. Right there. Yeah, so we hit uh, 800, I'm sorry. 800, Captain. Changing course. Yarr! Uh, threat plus one, starting with the player with the highest infamy and proceeding clockwise. Each player with one or more constellation events tokens must resolve their constellation events. Did the ship move this round? Yes. No one, does anyone have I an event? I do not know. Okay, so, so go ahead. Here we right. go. Okay. Here we go. So I am the, uh, the skeleton pirate. Um, we came upon a wrecked merchant vessel. Well, I need a skeleton voice. So as I swam down to the bottom to gather the little food me, I made it to the bottom without issues. But three, uh, Jonah Albatross barely survived. I maintain it's because I'm a peak physical condition and not because I'm a magically animated skeleton and I don't need to breathe. Same as your crew, you know, everyone instead. You're, I'm totally not a skeleton. Yeah. Uh, plus two treasure, uh, and uh, you gain another misfortune. <laughs> Evan, wait, Evan wait, has... Wait, wait. I gain one? 
Uh, uh, Jonah Albatross. Yeah, yeah, that's me. Yeah. Evan nice. has a lot of experience pretending to be human and not raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay. Wanna prove boots and old timer compass? It's perfect for my not skeleton feet. <laughs> Alright, um. Did the ship move? Yes. Yes. Okay. So we did check, um, so threat plus one with a high. Yep. Did it say check threat? Uh, no. Ship moves around? Yes. Okay. Read the entry listed on the ship's new space. All right. Bless you. Last. Zero. Three. Zero. R. R. Okay. Playing now, Captain. You come across a wooded, uninhabited island. Oh, okay. So, uh. <laughs> the end. <laughs> uh, remove navigation token 030 from the game. Place special location token 971 on this space. Do not read the entry at this time. Return all revealed navigation tokens face down to the pile. Turn to page 37 and check threat. Okay. Oh, we do. Okay, there it is. So what do we return all face? So the ones that are revealed. The log. Yeah. Okay. 37? Yes. yes, and check threat. Okay, 37 first. Um, oh, so threat, we do, we do hit. Um, so hit um, threat event. Read entry 791. So uh, go to done. 791? Yep. Okay. Uh -huh. And then your. Yar! Then hit it. Here we go. A sickly looking parrot crashes onto the deck. <laughs> the crew gathers around it, thinking it is surely dead. Oh, oh, oh. the poor little blighter. Plumber said Sally. <laughs> Stop your weeping. Captain Vance chuckles as he pushes everyone aside. This here is the old parrot, Flapjacks. And believe me, he will outlive us all. What is it, me boy? Flapjack jumps to life, rustling the sad patch of feathers on his back. Razor on the move! The parrot squawks. Razor coming for you! Coming for you all! The crew gasps, fearing what Captain Razor would do if he found them. Let's get moving then, Captain Vance shouts. Discontent plus one. Mm -hmm. uh, move special location token 962 one space toward the ship. Mm -hmm. uh, are there any special location tokens? 692. Uh, is this, okay, we're not on the same token, so no. No. Okay, so no, we're not in the same space. No. Remove all threat from the threat track. Okay. Nice. And done. Okay. All right. So, so now I got to start the timer. Yep. So it's uh, Connor, Jay, me, Spencer. Is Connor, your first pick. Okay, um, I will do for search. Okay. Gather food. Okay. Uh, Captain's mission. One of these guys. Uh, I'll do search the forest. Okay. And okay. we're done. 17 seconds left, boys. Not bad. All right, so we got uh, four shack. Uh, do one of the following. Uh, <laughs> choose one of the following. Knock on the door. Uh, read an entry. Uh, search the crates behind the shack, read an entry. Raid the shack, plus one brawn to perform a brawn check, and then read an entry depending on how good or bad you did. Uh, raid the shack, clearly. Raid the shack, so gain a brawn. Okay. Raid, raid, raid. So, uh, that puts my brawn to two, and so I you, need one of the uh, event tokens. Yep. That's so, right. uh, one to 13 or 14 plus? Oh, and I've got disadvantage, so... Uh, oh, gross. Yeah. Reroll, cut, die. Okay. Oh, oh okay. nice. Uh, Ten I mean, and an eleven. Oh, oh, what do you, what's your total? Uh, so it would be. So you still, you never had a chance. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So, uh, read entry three hundred and sixty. Aha, Captain three hundred and sixty. Yar. Here we go. Leading a small group of crew, you charge the cottage. The front door sits slightly ajar, allowing the first couple of attackers easy access, where they quickly fall screaming to their deaths through an open trap door. Oh. It's a trap! Some may fight! Screams a sailor, and you are forced to retreat with the rest of your cowardly companions. Uh, <laughs> minus two crew, lock action one. Alright. What's action one? That one. So no oh, one can okay, search right, the shack. We can't search the shack. Um, so, uh, right. search the forest. Done. Um, read entry 362. Three six two. Yee You follow a trail made in the forest. Eventually, it splits in two. 
follow the path more uh, worn or follow the path choked with weeds and leaves? Uh, weeds and leaves. All right, weeds and leaves. You're taking the path less travel. Good for you. Here Robert we go. Frost. You follow the unused path, though it barely qualifies as a path. Really? You are thinking of turning back when something catches your eye. It's a human skeleton. Well, human-ish anyway. The head is <gasps> over large, and the arms and legs are over long, and the canines and the mouth are far too pointy for your liking. Feeling the skeleton is an important discovery. You bundle it in your cloak and carry it back to the ship. The captain's eyes light up. By all the gods, he gasps and gives an appreciative whistle. This, boys and girls, is a remnant of the old world that was. But what is it exactly? You inquire. I couldn't rightly say, but I've heard tales. Tales of apes the size of people who walked and talked like we did. Supposedly, they had a great kingdom once. Long before magic was sealed away from the world. Or there are tales of people changed by foul magics. Monstrous they was, and craven human flesh. Whatever the case be, mateys, I suspect we will one day know the answer. He stows the bones in a crate and captures back to his quarters in a merry mood. Uh, reroll plus one, lock action two. Nice. Yes. Okay. So you uh, gather food? A re-roll yep, plus one? Yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry. I was used to giving you those. <laughs> um, gain the hunting. Okay. Gain one hunting, then perform a hunting check. All right, here we go. Hunting check coming up, Captain. Oh, okay. 12. I love how 12. Uh, plus three supplies and one re-roll. Plus three supplies. So we are up to eight. Good job, boys. All right. All right. Yarr! All right, Captain's next. mission. Uh, read the next, check out the next Captain's mission. Zero, four, nine. Zero, four, nine. Roger. <laughs> Zero. Four. Nine. Yarr! Play. You wanted to see me, Captain, you ask. Ah, uh, yes. Come here, come here, says he with a wave. I need you to do me a mighty big favor. This here list is all the ingredients I need to make me dear old mom's pineapple stew. I'd surely love to eat some once more before, well, before it's too late. You got it, Cap. You agree. Then you spend the better part of the day scouring the area for needed supplies. Mm -hmm. When you finally have them all, you head back to the ship with full of arms. But on your way, you spy a small group of merchants with several crates of goods. It would be child's play to steal their booty. What do I got? All right, so you can return to the ship with the ingredients you promised the captain. Drop the ingredients. You want that booty. Uh... I will return with the ingredients. Oh, Captain, didn't say Captain's good job. my man. Okay, here we go. You don't want the booty? You did it, matey! Shouts Vance, clapping. Not as much as I want to see. It's here, too. The pork rump, the pineapple, the fresh garlic and onions, and of course, the pickled sea slugs. <laughs> my guard, you see, and this takes me back. Why, it seems like yesterday I was supping on this when Mama stabbed Daddy right in the guts for being all out. <laughs> Those were the good old days. <laughs> Nice. Discontent down one. Plus two supplies. Plus two supplies. We're back to full and a treasure. What do you got? Uh, mustachioed monkey. You may discard <laughs> one or more reroll tokens to gain one infamy from each token discarded. It cannot be buried. Oh, that's the thing. So some islands. Right there. That, buried, treasure. Uh, buried treasure. You can go there to bury one of your treasures to gain a star. Um, usually you want to, at this point, you want to kind of level up. But uh, stars are good too. Yeah. All right. So 817, please. Roger. Aye, aye, Captain. Eight seconds. Stab is <laughs> right in the guts. It's a doctor. Yeah. I'm okay. some bad news. You have Brent one. plus one. Starting with the player with the highest infamy, infamy and proceeding clockwise, each player with one or more consolation events must resolve their consolation. Then the highest infamy player must choose one of the following. Stay and lose crew or leave. Okay. So, yep. so that would be me. I do have a... Uh, yeah, yes. yep. Go for it. <clears throat> Short stand copper thought I was a fool for urging altering our course, but I couldn't ignore me instinct. I'd seen what happened to our crew if we stayed on course. Perhaps where we ended up wasn't much better, but this doesn't mean I can change the events in my vision. Okay, all right. Uh, I get two more rerolls and I scout two spaces. Okay. Okay. 
Do I, you have one? I am, is there a... No, I do not. Do you have an event? No, nope, it's you. Uh, it's me. All right. Short Stom Copper, here we go. Event number one. All right. Are ye ready? The blade had been in my family for generations. A symbol of status and prestige passed down through my bloodline. I stole it in the night before I left home. The grip is covered in jewels, and the blade is inlaid with gold and depicts a narwhal. A weapon like that doesn't deserve to sit abandoned over the mantle in a bureaucrat's office. I'm sure father will understand. Retrieve card 39, heirloom cutlass from the story deck. Yeah, I did it, lads. <laughs> <laughs> so, for uh, scouting, yep. do we put them... Uh, how do we uh, place the tiles? Uh, next to the boat. Okay. Plus two swagger, plus two attack. Oh, snap. Plus two brown. Yo, yo, whoop, whoop. Pretty good. Heirloom cutlass to the rescue. <laughs> it's good to know. And that doesn't count towards your treasures. Right. So, like, that's a separate bowl. Yes, it's a narwhal. I yes, it's a narwhal. Are we going to stay or... Oh, oh uh, uh, you get to decide, Connor. Stay or leave. Yeah, if we stay, leave. we lose a crew. If we leave, we're good. We're going to leave. All right. Okay. We leave. The highest infamy player moves the ship one space. Read the entry listed on the new space. So, 977? Yep. Okay. 977. <laughs> Yarr! We're in a fog bank. I'm sure nothing will go wrong. Is clearing stone written on the ship's log? No. No. Ain't that a negative? Is this your first time visiting the ocean's edge? Yes. Yes! That's an affirmative. Here we go. You stare out into That's the moonlit waters ahead, watching as you creep closer to the ocean's edge. The captain walks up to you, taking an interest in the somber look on your face. What's going on, me lady? He asks. Captain, you respond meekly. Do you really think we're all going to sail past the ocean's edge? I mean... How do you know the stone's gonna work? Every crew that's ever attempted going deep into that place has never returned. It's the end of the world, Captain. The Captain stops you by putting a hand on your shoulder. Settle down, me matey, settle down. It's all gonna be all right. But how do you know? You respond, unconvinced. The Captain looks straight into your eyes, a move that makes you uneasy. The joy and wild exuberance that usually lies within his gaze fades into a calm and steady stare that pierces you. I don't, he responds. I don't know if it'll work. I don't know if I'm leading us all to the depths of Davy Jones' locker. But I know there has to be more to the world than this. There have been so many clues, so many moments in my life that have told me this place is real. This world that we live in now is broken, and you know it. You can feel it in your bones. I want to see it hold again. The captain pushes a tin cup of rum into your hands. Now have a drink and enjoy yourself, me matey. We're still alive, aren't we? And that's worth celebrating. You sip your drink and let out a small chuckle. To the ocean's edge, I guess. Okay, hull minus one. All players reroll plus one. Turn to page 15 and check threat. Ready? Yep. Okay, turn to page 13, please. 13? Okay. You said 15? 13. Or 15. Yeah, I'm sorry. 15. Okay. 1 5. And check our threat. Cursed waters. Oh, no. Okay, threat is. Uh, we're good. Okay, we're good on threat. All right, so let's start the timer. Ready? Yep. Uh, so, Connor's first, then me. Yep. Um, I will. Ship graveyard. Okay. Then you? Uh, comfort the crew. Okay, then me. Well, one of us, we each have to do this now, so I'll just go. Okay. So, alright. Uh, first is stop the timer. Stopping the timer. Upside down. Yeah, it's, uh, the book is upside down. Um, this is easier for, for me. I guess I could just go over the other side of the table to, to read it. You know I mean? I'll switch with you, Spencer. Yeah, you just read it upside down. Or have Spencer read it. Yeah, there you go. Alright. All right. Fixed it. We did it, boys. Okay. Okay. 
Hunger curve. Choose one of the following. Feed the hunger curve. Spend the number of supplies equal to the current hunger. If you do not have enough supplies, you cannot choose this option. Infamy plus one, discontent minus one. Um, ask them to go hungry. Discontent plus two, swagger plus one, infamy minus one. I will let them raid the supplies, infamy plus four. Oh boy. If supplies are at are at zero, discontent plus two, otherwise lower supplies to zero. Uh, we're only losing four if we eat. If we, yeah, we'll do that because okay. we, we're full. So. Okay. And then you get a swagger. You purple? Here you go. Oh, not swagger, but a uh, um, infamy. Infamy, yeah. And discontent minus one. So cool. Okay. Now, uh, Connor, you go. Yep. So. Uh, Exploration plus one. Or ship graveyards. You said gaze or ship? Uh, ship's graveyard. Ship's graveyard. So hunting plus so, one. Yep. That uh, brings my hunting up to two. All right. So hunting check. So I have a three, but I'm going to spend one of my pile of rerolls. Okay. To get a eleven. Uh, eleven so. is ten through eleven. So there's that entry. So there's ten through fourteen. Five. Yep. What's, so what's entry two eight zero. Oh wait, I'm sorry. Right, you said yeah, ship graveyard. Okay, two two what? Yep. Two yep. eight zero. Okay. Two eight zero. Aye aye yeah. Let's hear it. You find sparkly tidbits on a derelict merchant ship. You'll miss the crew who fell through the rotting timber, or were crushed through the collapsing mast. But your new loot is awfully pretty. Oh. Uh, crew minus one. Crew me plus two. We are max. Uh, treasure plus two and lock action three. Treasure plus two? Yep. Lock action three. Okay. All right. Your turn, Jay. So, uh, okay. Choose two. Comfort the crew. Um, choose two of the following. Oh. Trade with the crew. Uh, Reroll plus one or discard one treasure to draw one treasure. Mm -hmm. uh, Slap a hysterical crewmate. Uh, I'm gonna do that one. Plus one. <laughs> yeah, okay. for sure. And then comma crewmate uh, read entry two eighty two. And I'm gonna comma crewmate and read two eighty two. Here we go. Pull yourself together, man. You be a woman or what? Get out going. Come on, yar. Two eighty two. Yep. Yar. Play. He's crazy, you know. A crewman whispers into your ear. Who's crazy? Old Ricky Nobbins. Yeah, he's nuts, you respond. No, not Ricky, you damn it, Captain Vance. He's gonna get us all killed. I mean, look at this place. This is the end of the world, God damn it. There ain't nothing past this. We're all gonna die if we follow him any further. So, okay, my choice is convince the crewman that he is wrong or threaten the crewman into silence. Uh, I'll convince, I'll convince. I got the swagger. Perform a swagger check. All right, here we go. So I got three. Okay. And swagger. Yeah, uh, three. Four five. Four five. That's an eight. I'm gonna spend a reroll. Yeah, you're you hit like way below the average there. That's a two. I'm can, yeah, how many times? Keep, yeah, you just keep I'm going. gonna re-roll. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, one more. Last re-roll. Here we go. Come on. Twelve. Wow, right. oh, that's cocked. I made Connor re-roll his cock, so. Uh nine. Okay, so, so nine, nine plus. plus five, so fourteen. Yeah, nine there we plus. go. Nine plus. Uh, discontent minus one, reroll plus one. I'll take okay. one of my rerolls back. Great. Awesome. Convince that mofo. No one speaks ill of Captain Vance. No one uh, speaks <laughs> ill of me, Captain. All right, so Sorry, I'd like to me. show the uh, two pieces of treasure that I got. Okay. Because they are important for the rest of you. Right. So I've got a fancy scarf. Uh, yeah. When I would gain one or more infamy, I would instead steal a treasure from a player that is lower than me on the infamy track. Okay. And then the other one is a golden flask. After resolving actions that one or more players have or would resolve with me this round, I may steal one treasure from one of those players. Oh, okay. So, we'll just keep that in mind, old, uh... If you kill our crew, and then you steal stuff from us. Uh, uh, I'm cursed! Have, I don't... If we have an option to vote them off the island, uh... uh <laughs> so try and smoke uh, Navigation plus one. Do a navigation check. So, I've got plus three. Uh... Stink. All right. That's fine. So three ten. Uh, oh eight three. Okay. So uh, infamy plus one. Uh, 
I don't want to be last anymore. I want to do something <laughs> fun instead of having a good uh, Okay, uh, you may spend... You may spend supplies and or hull to move the ship for every two. Okay, um, I'll just spend... Uh, we're getting low on hull. Um, yeah, we might need to be trying to... Uh-huh. I'll do two supplies because the hull's getting low. Um, to move the ship. Sure. Okay, and then... Uh, Eight oh six. Eight oh six. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, threat plus one. Starting with the player with the highest infamy and proceeding clockwise. Each player with one or more constellation event tokens must resolve their constellation events. Okay. Anybody I got any? Don't. No. Nope. Do no. You do? I do have one. Okay. okay. Go for it. Okay. This is Spencer. What's your name again? What's your pirate name? Slippery Squid, the well endowed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay. Um, it was weird bumping into Stacy after all these years, and it was painful to be dressed all scroungy the way I was, and her looking all fancy now. I guess the education my folks gave her paid off. She shouldn't have been traveling with so many ba baubles, but hey oh, that's a lesson they don't teach in school. <laughs> Treasure plus one. <laughs> Reroll plus one. Oh, nice. sorry. Nice. Take her, take her fancy stuff. Did the ship move? Yes. We yep. moved it. We're at, at the end. entry on the listed new space. 963. 963. Yarr! Puppy's got a brand new blade. Oh, nice. There we go. 963. You right, boys ready? Yep. Yarr! Yarr! Have you already visited this island? No. no. Okay, here we go. You arrive on Precipice Island. Precipice. You see before you a collection of small houses nestled into the cliff's edge that overlooks the ocean. You hear the distant rumbling of the watery barrier that marks the ocean's edge, and you wonder who could choose to live in such a place. You follow Captain Vance to a rickety old bridge that leads to one of the cliffside houses. Been a long time, he mateys, but I always loved coming here, he says. The house itself is a crumbling structure made of mismatched parts. You notice a lovely golden telescope reaching out past a hole in the roof, staring up at the dark sky. The captain removes his hat, and licking the palm of his hand, tries to smooth down his great white tangle of hair. When he reaches the door, he gives a nervous knock. The door opens to an old woman, whose body and clothing seem to keep with the rest of the house's themes. JJ? She exclaims. Just put that. Get your butt over here. And the two give each other a happy embrace. You learn her name is Esmeralda. <laughs> and she is quickly able to decipher the map. Red Rock Island, the Painted Caverns. She instructs. That's where you'll be finding that stone. When you leave a half hour later, bellies warm with tea, Esmeralda grabs one of you by the arm and whispers. Take care of him. And you can see she looks scared. He's dreamed to this forever. Never enough in this world to keep him happy. Keep him satisfied. But it's dangerous. A person who plunged the abyss too long will never truly make it back out. You remember that. You leave Esmeralda's home, happy to find that the captain hasn't led you astray, but concerned that the mission you are on is becoming all the more real. All right. Return all revealed navigation tokens face down to the pile. Write painted caverns on the ship's log. Remove all threat from the threat track. Oh, that's not that beautiful. All right, everybody good? Yep. I'm going to continue. Okay, congratulations. You've reached the end of part one. The highest infamy player chooses two of the following. So who's that? That's you? Yeah. Okay, so you can add three supplies. You can remove our discontent, discontent by two. You can add three crew, and you can add three hall, and you get to pick two of those. I will do three hull and I will do three supply. Okay. Can we go up past five? Mm -hmm. Yes, you can go all the way up to eight. Yeah. We just started with a kind of beat up ship. Okay. All right. Then we're going to continue. At this time, players may choose to continue on to part two or take a break by saving their game and returning to play part two at a later time. What do you guys want to do? I'm feeling good. You feeling good? You feeling yeah. strong? All right. We're going to continue immediately. <laughs> right now. All right, here we go. After visiting Esmeralda, you visit a nearby town to restock and prepare for the trip to Red Rock Island. Flip objective card one to objective card two, find the clearing stone, and turn to page 
21. I'm sorry. Twenty-one. All right. So I'm gonna hit done. Uh, I'm gonna hit the timer. All right. Got it first. All right. I will. Uh... Okay. Uh, okay. Graveyard. Okay. Uh, me. Um. I will. Uh, wish swagger. I don't. Yeah, I'll do a uh, captain's mission. Uh, do the action colors match an action theme? Uh, only the action colors are more red. You have to. Blue, only one person can do, and green, a bunch of people can jump on. Yep. All right. Okay. Get done. Actually, okay. Change that. We're going. There. That's fine. Uh, okay. So, uh, worshiping the spring water waterfall. waterfall. When you enter the waterfall, you hear a strange voice say, "Speak your desire." Who's mm -hmm. <laughs> one of the followers? <laughs> I seek to learn a new skill, read entry 310. I seek unimaginable wealth. I seek a new path. I seek to rule the world. I don't know. Okay. Let's, <laughs> let's do a new skill. Okay. Uh, so read entry 310. Yeah. Here you go, buddy. <laughs> oh, ouch, you say. A little heavy on the hot sauce, ain't we, waterfall? <laughs> Says the waterfall. Gain one skill of your choice. Lock, lock two. action two. Um, we will take another exploration. Okay. Uh, okay, graveyard. Um, uh, gain one exploration? Yep. Uh, then roll an exploration check. Okay, here we go. A little 11. 11? Yep. So it's... Uh, 7 to 11. Read entry 315. Okay. 1-5? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Here we go. You walk through the graveyard looking at the headstones of legendary pirates like Rory Pukeface McAllister <laughs> and Captain Wilma Slaughterfist. Pride <laughs> swells <laughs> inside you. Uh, Reroll plus two. Infamy plus Infamy one. Infamy plus one and swagger plus one, and then go ahead and lock that. Yo, my swagger is off the charts now. <laughs> All right, um, here you go. Right. I've also uh, lost six on swagger. Right. Nice, <laughs> nice. So I wish there was more stars uh, over there. But, oh. I challenge a pirate to an arm wrestling match. Uh, I get a crew plus one or a brawn plus one, and then I do a brawn check. Okay. So, Dustin, Jagged Brush was saying there's a severe uh, lack of raccoons, and so uh, here we go, boys. <laughs> All right. Is. So with my first roll, I got a seven plus three. That'd be a three eighteen. Yeah, I'll take uh, entry three eighteen. Three eighteen. Here. You right, do this. Yeah. I'll just I'll hold him like a baby. Put it on your hand. You puppet. You puppeteer uh, that thing. Oh. What is it? What is it? But I don't three want eighteen. Eighteen. Three one eight. Yep. Yeah. Sorry. It's okay. Yeah. Here we go. Yep. Oh, oh. Challenge the proprietor, the esteemed Helga Arm Ripper, to a oh. contest. Of <laughs> oh no. She readily accepts, and as the two of you clasp hands, biceps bulge in ways that make you both look totally. <laughs> you realize you've got what it takes to defeat her. But then she actually makes an effort and you are sent flying across the room. <laughs> she I like you, kid. You've got spirit. Thank you, Helga. You call from your place on the floor behind the bar. <laughs> Swagger plus one, re-roll plus one, and lock action four. Right. I think when I did that one the first time I played through, she ripped my arm off. <laughs> <laughs> so I got like a hook hand. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Captain's mission. Uh, and I got a reroll, right? Yeah. Yeah. I honestly can't tell with the pile here anymore. <clears throat> All right. Read entry zero five zero. Zero five zero. You got it. Credit card. You got it. <laughs> Ready? Cool. Yeah. Hit it. What problem does my? Let's just say. 
Oh, okay. I mean, it might be just this particular file. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, do me a favor, won't you? The captain asks. Uh, there is an abandoned house on the farthest reaches of the Do it with the raccoon puppet. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. No. Uh, uh, we're with the, uh, the rec reaches of this island that contains a pendant that looks like this. And he hands you a simple charcoal and paper drawing. Uh, would you fetch it for me? You find the house late in the afternoon, a large foreboding. Uh, it was a fire, a fine manor, and has been left to ruin. Inside, you really still. You go upstairs bedroom, you find a pendant on a rotting dresser. You snatch it, hastily retreat to the stairs. But there you are, accosted by a glowing apparition of an elderly woman dressed in the servant's garb. Jezbit, is that you, she moans? You freeze, and she passes through you. Where are you, oh silly boy? Your father will be home soon. Why must you always take things too far? When you return to the ship, you give Captain Vance the pendant and describe the encounter with the ghost. Weird, he says. Uh, that's quite the coincidence. But then I suppose uh, Jezebel is a fairly common name. He pays for your assistance. Uh, but he says no more about it. Treasure plus two. All right. Oh. Treasure plus two, buddy. Weird. <laughs> oh, weird. Uh, okay, I got... Uh, uh, yeah, when you film starts, guard, all your... Okay, so I have to discard one, um, so I'm up to four, so we get a, a supply for that. Wait, who was that? I thought that was... That was me. Oh. Captain's mission. Oh, okay. Cool. Okay, and I will... Uh... Alright, um, we're good. Alright, so uh, 809. 809. Threat plus one. Starting with the player with the highest infamy, proceeding clockwise. We do the constellation event tokens. Anybody got an event token? I do not. Okay. Uh, do we we want to leave? Right. We don't yes. want to. Yeah. Leave. Okay. We're gonna leave. <clears throat> the highest infamy player moves the ship one space. Read the entry listed on the new space. So where are we supposed to be going now? Uh, the next. Uh, the next island. Yep. Yeah, nine fifty. Reach the Red Rock Island. Nine fifty seven. Yep. And okay. find the stone in the printed cavern. It's his. He's the highest infamy. Oh, am I? Yep. Oh, sorry. Okay. When did that? Okay. Uh, oh, nine. Oh. Just number nine. Uh oh, that doesn't look good, everybody. Zero zero nine. Here we go. A royal galleon appears out of nowhere, <laughs> and before you know it, the cannon fire begins raining down upon the ship. Oh God. The captain turns the ship as soon as he notices them. There's a storm of ruin, me mateys! cries Captain Vance. And the old man laughs aloud as the wind whips across the deck. He runs over to the starboard side and, holding the railing, yells, Follow us into the storm, you devils! I dare ya! We'll all be making merry music soon! You and the rest of the crew give each other confused looks. Er, Captain? You mentioned nervously. What are you doing? He laughs. <laughs> we'll be fine, me mateys. You'll see. The royals cease their pursuit. Cowards! <laughs> Okay, remove navigation token 09 from the game. Discontent is plus one. Set doubt A equal to the number of players. Turn to page 11 and check the threat. Okay, threat is good. Is it 11? Let me double check. I've been, those have been hard to read. Yeah, 11. Uh, <laughs> it's 11 yep, right yep. there. All Let's right, see. so we're done. And start the timer. And I'm up first, right? Yep. Okay, um... I'll say I'll, I'll, do, I'll take the sail action. Okay, Connor. I'll man the sails. Okay. Uh, who captains? Uh, I'll do that one. All right. Uh, yeah. So help your crew. We got four. Um. Discontent is at one. Yeah, I'm so well just feeding people. So four. Okay. And that goes up to one. Up no, to one. that stays. Oh, okay. Stays. Um, but uh, you get a infamy. Oh, that's I'm purple. Yeah. And I believe the discontent would go down one. Yep, yeah. discontent minus one. All right. Real MVP. Okay. All right. Uh, chart a course. Game Rick McDickin, what are you gonna do? Okay. Uh, roll an exploration check. So I've got. 
One, two, three, four, plus four. Yeah. Nice. Okay, 16. Next. 16 plus. Scout three spaces ahead, treasure plus one. Okay. Take care of that in a second. Uh, I guess I'll discard this to get a swagger before I... Okay. All right. So, three ahead. Okay. And yeah, that's me. Okay. Um, man of sales, I get some other brawn. And I'm going to need a uh, event token. Okay. All right. Is that it? Nope. Oh. I have to make a brawn check. Alright, um, so I'm going to keep it as it is. Okay. So I have a total count of 10. So I fall into 6 to 11, which is reduced dial A by 2. Okay. And uh, that's it. Okay. Uh, then I will. That's you for sales. So gain a uh, navigation. Navigation. Okay. Uh, Alright, then I roll, right? Yep. Okay. 12. So. A 12 is uh, you gain one infamy, okay. and then you may spend supplies and or hull to move the ship. For every two uh, spent, you move the ship one space. Uh, yeah, all right. I'll spend two. Well, we got plenty of hull now, too. Yeah, oh, do we? One one. Yeah, we got uh, one and one. Yeah. yeah, all right. So reduce this one hull, and I'll move us here. Okay. All right. So uh, 804. 804. Roger. Okay. Yeah. All right. Threat plus one. Yep. Reduce the hull, crew, and or supplies by a total of x dot x e uh, x. X equals the value of dial A. Uh, two. two. Uh, we can do one crew, one hull. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, two, 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 two. Okay. Starting with the player with the highest infamy and proceeding clockwise. One or more constellation. I don't have any. I have one. Okay. Go for it. All right. So. <clears throat> we passed the smoldering remains of a ship loaded to the... I keep changing the damn accent. Yeah, yeah, just pick one. Just pick, yeah. just pick an yeah. accent. Go uh, for it. You got it. <laughs> we passed the smoldering remains of a ship loaded to the gills with barrels of spice and fancy swabs. I saw the ship in my vision along with the treasure I found there. I purposefully chose a different one for myself. Maybe this shows I'm not beholden to the vision of my death. Look at the top three cards of the treasure deck. Gain one. Discard the rest. There you go. Okay. All right. Okay. Did the ship move this room? Yep. Sure did. Read the entry listed on the ship's new space. Uh, zero zero one. one. Yep. yep. Yar. Here we go. Ready? Yep. A fight between two crewmates turns to blows on the ship's deck. Captain Vance has ordered you to keep the peace among the crew, but these two men have been at each other's throats for a while, and you feel that letting them fight it out might result in their working it out of their systems. Okay, break them up before someone gets hurt. Go on, let them fight it out. It's the highest. So read so the following to the player yeah. with the highest yeah. swagger. Oh, that's, that's me, right? Yeah. That's, that's gotta be you. Uh, well, it's not captain's orders. Captain said, "Let them." You know, break up the fight. He, You've never seen Godzilla. Let them fight. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break them up. <sighs> okay. You're able to stop the two from fighting, but not before taking a punch to the kisser. While in recovery, Captain Vance brings you a gift for following his orders. Good on you, matey. He says. Remove navigation token from from the game. Oh one. Retrieve card seventy four stern eye patch from the story deck. Hull minus one, treasure plus one, and turn to page three and check well. Oh, damn. Right. Right. 74. Oh, yeah. more swag here. Oh, jeez. And something else good. Page three. When you gain this card, misfortune plus two. Okay. And infamy, infamy plus three, so. Okay. 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 Uh, all right, so page three. Okay, we, yep, we're here. So okay, so... Check the threat. 
We're good, right? Yep. Okay, so three now. done, and let's set up the timer. I'm first. Um, I am going to. I'm going to fish. Okay. Okay. I'll sail. Okay. I will chart a course. All right. All right. Hungry crew. Um, we're actually. Uh, yeah, we don't really have a lot of them. Uh, plus one infinity. So, um, I'm gonna make them go hungry. Discontent plus two. Uh, discontent plus two. Swagger plus one. Minus, minus one. one. Yeah. Swagger plus one. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Charge a course. Exploration plus one. Yeah. I'm getting really good at that now. What do um, you, how much do you have for that? Um, I'm up to four. So you could potentially you have to roll in. So if you get a right, if you get a twelve yeah. on the die, then we'll yeah. go to the second one. Yeah, yeah. Because it's what it's zero, it's one to fifteen, 15 and then yeah. sixteen plus. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, nope. I have to re-roll. All right, do it. Let's see. No. Nope. Okay. One, two. Okay. Oh, <laughs> just walking it up. Yeah. Uh, Seven. Seven. So you need the two. Wow. Okay. Blue ball on this. Five. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Scout two, two spaces. spaces. Yeah, to do. I forgot how sucky I am at rolling dice. <sighs> Welcome. It's been a minute. All right, fish hunting one. Oh, there's no room for any of this stuff. Yeah, just place it where you got it. Uh, okay. Uh, then perform a hunting check. Okay, so I got plus two on hunting. That's an eight. Um, oh, you actually oh, have I got two. the the yeah. Oh, let's take it out. Yeah. Oh, okay. So six. Six and a nine. I'll re-roll. Okay, so so I get to roll one. Yep. You gotta re-roll two again, yep. Oh. Oh, eleven and a one, so I got a three. Uh so one to four. Crew minus one, supplies plus one, infamy minus two. So what supplies plus one? We we had a crew member? Yeah. Well they just died or something, And then infamy minus two? Okay. Oh, scurvy. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Uh, your turn, Connor. All right. Remember so guys, I, I get uh, one navigation. Yeah, easy shot, sir, buddy. Easy <laughs> shot. All right, and then I have to make a navigation check which is currently a 11. So I gain one infamy and I have to spend supplies or hull at a rate of 2 to 1 to move one space. Pretty Not good. really good on either one. Hole, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I guess. There's a lot of choices. Or, uh, here. Well, oh, no. okay. we can, so that yeah. applies to stop us from doing stuff. We don't lose the game if that hits. Yeah. So two supplies. Um, I'll move us one to the target island. Okay. Um, I would gain infamy, but I'm already at the top, so I'm yeah. going to take it as an additional skill. Well, let's because. See um, the Greybeard's Pirate Guide, when you would gain one or more skill, you may instead gain one skill of your choice. Or one or more infamy, you would gain one skill of your choice. Oh, okay. It's the item that I just got. Gotcha. But then, does that go away once he, yeah, that discards, right? Once um, he uses it, it doesn't say Oh, well, maybe so. No, it doesn't. Oh, we gotta oh. steal it from him. Yeah. All right. <laughs> what? <laughs> You've already threatened to steal from us before. I, look, <laughs> look, if we're gonna do that, I can steal way better than you guys can. First of all, <laughs> now he's the us. This is a cooperative game, buddy. <laughs> I'll take care of it. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll uh, we'll take care of it. Right. Okay. Good. Yeah. Okay, so uh, eight hundred. Eight hundred. Yeah. Okay. Threat plus one. Okay. Starting with the player with the highest infamy and proceeding clockwise. Each player. We do the constellation thing. Uh, yep. so does anyone have anything? I uh, I do. Okay. Do you, Connor? Constellation. Constellation. No, no, no. Okay. So I will do mine. So where do I go? I go to the next one. Down? Yep. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> the 
cocky fool had bragged for weeks about his unmatched sword fighting, and the other dullards of the ship were either too stupid or too scared to test his mettle. Not I. It was a fair fight, as etiquette demands. His technique was lacking, and he paid with his life. Now there's no question who the most skilled shipmate is with the sword. Now they fear me. Infamy plus three. <laughs> nice. So I'm back on top, boys. Uh, discontent one. Uh -oh. uh, crew one. Okay. Uh, yeah. Crew minus one. Yeah. Minus oh, that's one. Because you killed someone. Yeah. <laughs> That's bad. And this doesn't really help, this treasure that I have, so... Um, okay. Sorry. Okay, okay. Well, he, he threatened me. <laughs> well, the ship moved this from, yes. He done so. looked at me funny. Alright, so here we go. What number are we on? 957? Yeah, yeah 957. Yep. Here is painted caverns written on the ship's log. It is. Yes. Okay, here we go. You arrive at Red Rock Island. The crew treks up a mountain path in search of the cave Esmeralda had told them of. When you reach the highlands, you find a small village where the locals tell you of a mysterious nearby cave. Best not go about without some methods. One of the locals chimes. You can fetch them for a good price at the blacksmith if you're so inclined. Okay. Blacksmith has lanterns. Return, Return all revealed navigation tokens face down to the pile. Turn to page 39 and check our threat. Uh -oh. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Okay, uh, check threat, nice. so next threat log. Uh, 792. Okay, and here we go. Oh, no, oh, well, we gotta do the threat. Oh, sorry. 792? 792, sorry, sorry, sorry. 792, here we go. Yar. <laughs> Another visit from the parent Flapjacks warns you of Captain Razor's approach. Captain Vance rewards the parent with all the maple syrup you had on board. <laughs> Which leaves you wondering how Flapjacks has so long lived. The next day, old Cookie is furious that Flapjacks left nothing behind for his famous saltwater waffles. Uh, discontent plus one. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. uh, supplies. Uh, they, they have to disconnect marker and me. They have to, they have to oh, on the same. Yeah, okay, okay. lose the game. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, are the ship in special know. location token nine? Yes, right? Yeah. There's what? Wait, wait, wait. Um, move one. special location token 952, one close to the boat. 962, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, They're not, right? No, no. Okay. Remove all threat from the deck. Okay. Okay. And now we go to the timer, right? Yep. Alright, uh, I'll go mark it. Oh, whoa. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Um, Don't you woke me. <laughs> we did the blacksmith, too. I'll do the blacksmith. Okay, I'll do the painted caverns. I uh, need crap. We need crew. So maybe that. Alright. Okay, so my swagger goes up by one. Yep. I have a plus eight to swagger right now. Alright, so I'm gonna roll. Uh, five, so 13. Uh, choose three of the market options. Good. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. So. Oh, oh, oh. I got it, I got it. Get supplies for the crew, supplies plus two, may choose this. Oh, oh yep, yeah, sorry. Right. Um, may choose this more than once. Um, okay, what else do we got? Get Spend the supplies to gain treasure? No. Get a pair of neat sunglasses? No. Find a friend. Spend one supplies to retrieve a pirate pail of your choice from the story deck. They're like little uh, re-roll uh, things. Oh, okay. So I, I'll do the supplies twice. I get three, right? So one, uh, get two, uh, get two to be four. One. Oh, you get three actions, yeah. Two. Yeah. So I'll put the supplies. I'll do the supplies three times just to. Okay. Like, you know to get us. Yeah. Good. Okay. So it's supplies three times. Okay. All right. So uh, at the blacksmith, I have the choice of uh, buying torches, which uh, would allow any player. To perform, that performs an exploration check this round at plus 10 to oh, their result. Uh, yes. Yeah, sounds good. Or I could browse and that's an entry. I'm going to be doing an exploration check. After uh, You're going to be? Yeah, because I, I did paint the caverns. After you do okay, this, let's take a I'll quick break. Buy okay. torches. Okay. So, Good buy torches? Yep. Okay. So you get a plus 10. Plus 10. All right, so movies. let's hold there. Everybody at home, we're going to take a quick 10 minute break. Bathroom, okay. everything. Okay. Okay. We'll be right back, everyone.
Hey, we're back. Um, sorry, we just need a little break, so we're gonna go back and keep. Back if you home. must know, we had to use the restroom. All right, <laughs> we're all filling up with water and coffee and energy drinks, and we had to. We had to go. We just, <laughs> even pirates got to pee. We just go off the side of the boat. Uh, <laughs> all right. Here we go. All right, painted caverns. Choose one of the following. Now, hold on. Exploration plus one. Which. It's really good on you. All right, yes. cool. I'm maxed out on exploration. That gives me a uh, what's it called? Um, and then perform an exploration check, which no. I get plus ten. Right from the uh, buying torches from the blacksmith. Yep. Twelve. Oh, so plus ten plus, plus five. Twenty-two Ooh. plus. Yeah, yeah. You, you actually hit that. Uh, Whoa. Three entry four nineteen. Four nineteen. You got it. All right. Yeah. Okay. Four one nine. Yep. Four one yeah. nine. Yeah. Does any player have the Clearing Stone story card? No. 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 Okay. Here we go. You and the crew are able to locate the Clearing Stone and the Painted Caverns, just as Esmeralda said you would. You watch Captain Vance wrap up the glowing rock in his coat. The stone gives off such a blinding white light that even wrapped up, it fills the cavern with a white-blue glow. Shadows dance over the monkey statue that once held the stone, making it appear angry and menacing. The retrieval makes you feel uneasy, but you are still able to exit the cave unharmed. All right, treasure plus two. Write clearing stone on the ship's log. Retrieve card 15, clearing stone, from the story deck. Discard the current objective card and replace it with objective card three. So when you're ready. And objective card three, okay. secure the stone from the objective deck. All right. So okay. what's our goal on this one? Uh, at the end of the current round, instead of reading the end of the round entry, read entry 852. Okay. So we got one more. Yep. Uh, okay. Mine is... Quick McDickens go on. Quick McDickens. Uh, not totally <laughs> chance <of> skeleton. <laughs> um, the drunken deck. Challenge pirates mm. to a drinking contest. Plus uh, crew one. plus one, brown plus one. Crew, crew plus, plus one. one. Oh, yeah. good. Brown plus one. Yeah. yeah. A, I got a constellation event. I'm a skeleton. How am I even a... Uh, I mean, I'm not a skeleton. I'm a 100% not a skeleton. I'm a real guy. I'm a real boy. Uh, I do real guy things. <laughs> uh, let's see. It's brown. Like four. What do we got here? So one through six, seven through thirteen, fourteen plus. Yeah. Um, I'll spend a reroll to see if I can get that. So uh, out seven of one 15. through six. Oh, yeah. Hey, I had a seven. Uh, all right. Uh, read four two one. Four two one. You got it. Here we go. Your hulking opponent scoffs at how small you are next to him. Two large <laughs> cups of rum are plumped down in front of you. He swallows his drink in seconds, belches, then declares, Ah, your turn! <laughs> you smile at him and take the large swig from your glass. You watch him as he begins to wipe sweat from his brow and look around nervously. Ah, oh, it don't feel so good. He slurs before succumbing to the poison you slipped him. <laughs> <laughs> you declare proudly. Infamy, plus three. Well, there you oh, go. Oh. Lock action. <laughs> We're not allowed Back to on it. top. <laughs> <laughs> and all it took was some it's, poison, you it's, dirty. Did you uh, do the skeleton? Right? Yeah. Okay. It's weird, right? Because you go from like casual pirate stuff and like murder. <laughs> um, so we're at the end, so we do entry 852 instead. Yep. All right, here we go. Yar. Casual murder. <laughs> Here we go. You return to the ship with Captain Vance as he carefully carries the stone in his coat. Listen up, me mateys, he says. It's time I fill you in on what we're doing. We've got the clearing stone now. It ain't no turning back. There are going to be those that try to stop us, but we're not going to let them. Once we get past the ocean's edge, we're not only going to find a new world, but we're going to unleash magic on this world, too. The likes of which you ain't never seen. Is that wise? A crew member asks. Wise? <laughs> <laughs> We're pirates, damn it. We live for adventure. And I ask you, 
What's more adventurous than sailing seas with mermaids, cutting deals with strange witches, blowing a massive serpent to smithereens with your cannons, and finding mysterious magical treasures? You want to head back to the mainland and spend your life bowing and scraping for noble folk? Or do you want to have some fun with your old cat? Now on to glory and the ocean's edge! The crew, inspired by the finding of the clearing stone, shouts along with the captain in glee. Okay, so the highest infamy player, that's now you, E Dog, you pick two of the following um, increase our supplies by three, decrease our discontent by two, increase our crew by three, or and or increase our hull by three. Um, okay, so discontent by two. Yep. Put uh, our hull back up. Uh, yeah, because we're crew. Oh. What's our hull at? Three. three. Oh, yeah, yeah, these are all bad. So we get two of those. Um, I think hull up. Hull up by what? Three. Because we have to move, we can just put it on the hull and save the crew and uh, okay. supplies. All players, discard up to two treasures. For each treasure discarded, fill one star on your consolation. Um... I'm gonna I'm gonna do mine because mine sucks. Okay. Is that mandatory? Or... No, no, up to. So I'm gonna discard my two thievery items. <laughs> to get two bucks. Due to discontent amongst the ranks of the crew. <laughs> That's fine. Um, let's see what I want to get rid of. Uh, I'm really not gonna be doing. I'm not really the guy for either of those. So I'll get rid of two to get two two stars. Yeah, I'm not a brawn guy either. Um, I will be uh, needing a uh, event card though. Okay. Token. Okay. Flip the current objective card over to objective four. Goal. Reach the ocean edge. Nine seven seven. All right. Okay. Uh. Okay. Ba 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 ba. Uh. The highest infamy player moves the ship one space. Read the entry list on the ship's new space. Okay. Flip Hold it on. over. Here we when go. When any player moves the ship one or more spaces, he may move it one additional space without paying a cost. So we'll do that. Dude. That's good. Oh. So uh. Then. O five. Clearing stone. So o o five. Yep. Hey, here we go. <laughs> oh, Dan, the cars were, uh, we were pretty into the Fallout uh, miniature game, and uh, Spencer's been making terrain for it. So we have uh, cool looking uh, beat up cars for use as terrain. And uh, awesome. uh, also, they interact in the game, like your characters can shoot them and blow them up. So if people are taking cover behind a car, they can, uh, uh, you can kind of nuke it, right? Because every car in Fallout is uh, got nuclear. Uh, Mm -hmm. Nuclear reactor. Yeah, nuclear reactor. So we're, we're going to stream that eventually. Yeah. So, as well. So, okay, here we go. Ready? Yep. You've once again caught a case of bovine yellow gut. Oh, so no. you pay uh -oh. a visit to Patches, the ship's surgeon. Yeah. You ever think about it all? The big picture? As Patches, you sit on a chair below decks as he looks at your stomach. Like, is there more to life than stabbing decent folk <laughs> in the guts and taking their stuff? Well, sure. <laughs> Says you. There's also stabbing horrible folk in the guts and taking the better stuff. Ah, oh, yeah, says Patches, brightening at the prospect. <sighs> By the gods, this is the life. Here, take this medicine, and in a couple of days you'll be right as rain. Okay, so the player with the most treasure. Uh, I've got two. So what if there's a tie? Uh, infamy. Infamy's a tiebreaker. So, yeah. you. so drink the medicine, though it smells unwholesome. Avoid Patches' swill and wait the illness out. I'll drink the medicine. I'm totally not a skeleton. This is going to help me. <laughs> the medicine kills your malady and your eyesight. Oh. You spend a day stumbling around, <laughs> cursing patches under your breath. Remove navigation token 005 from the game. Misfortune plus two. Supplies minus one. Turn to page seven and check uh, the threat. We're good on threats. All right, page seven. Too much. There we are. Okay, clear C. All right. Uh, uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, we'll do. Um, we have to start the timer, yeah. Yep. Yep. Sorry. Like that. That's okay. I'll do. Uh, captains. Uh, okay, me. Uh, What's your uh, exploration? Um, five. Sorry. Uh, I'll, I'll take hungry crew. Okay. Navigation, um, one. Okay. Um, I'll take uh, sail. All right. Um, let's do explore. Yeah. Okay. And we're done. 
All right, choose one of the following. Feed the crew, spend a number of supplies equal to the current hunger. What, what's our current hunger? Three. three. It's the same. Oh, oh, that thing down there. Yeah. Okay, third, three. Um, yeah, that's probably fine. If you do not have enough too. supplies, you cannot choose this option. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. So my infamy goes up one. This goes down two, and this goes down three. Well, I had one turn. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Explore. Choose two of the following. Fight a walrus. <laughs> From do plus it. one. Do infamy. it. <laughs> Hunt for treasure. Set some traps. For a hunting check. Search the sunken ship. Okay, we're going to fight a walrus and search the sunken ship. <laughs> All right. So, brawn plus... One and infamy plus three. <laughs> All right. So, so you go to the front, yeah. 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 Get two constellations. One of these days. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. Um, so here's the second ship. Uh, read entry two two six. Okay. It's awesome. <laughs> Put up your dick. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> While routing through the captain's quarters aboard the sunken ship, you find a highly detailed model. Same ship. Weirdly, the model depicts the ship in the same sunken state it is currently in. <laughs> Unable to shake your unease, you crack the model open and discover in the miniaturized captain's quarters an even smaller version of the model ship. <laughs> you set the model down and quickly return to your ship, where you spend the next half an hour deep in prayer. <laughs> <laughs> Misfortune two, reroll two, and lock action three. <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> It'd be uh, funny if you saw like a little miniature version of yourself holding. Dude, it's uh, there's one that I think is like that. Uh, captain's quarters. So the next captain mission. Uh, uh, captain's quarters. Yep, is a different thing. So zero four three. Oh, you're right. Okay. Yeah. I beg your pardon, Captain. You say, knocking on the door to his quarters. I was hoping I could speak to you about this sailing past the ocean's edge business. Some of the crew be worried. Oh, stop you right there, me matey. He interrupts. Vance points to a group of books lying on the table. All these I swiped from the Bond family when I was a boy. They speak of the land of sunset, a world of unimaginable riches and magic. And everyone shares such similarities that I'm convinced they ain't just coincidence. But how do you know they ain't just stories, Captain? The captain sighs, as if he's explained this all before. I'll tell you what, me matey. You settle the crew down a bit, and I'll fill you in on some more. Once we have a moment to rest up on land. You nod and walk away, feeling no better, but you still do your best to calm the crew. Uh, discontent minus one. Uh, I'll gain one skill of my choice. I'll gain a uh, navigation. Okay, that gives me another. Okay. So, so I have to sail the ship. I get one navigation. And I have to do a navigation check. Alright, so I've got a plus three currently. Um, unfortunately, that's still the middle there. I gain infamy plus one. And it's a two for one. So, uh, uh, a hull uh, and a supply, maybe. Yeah, one and one. No, no we, we lose it. Oh, we, we lose, lose it. Yeah, two and. Yep. And that'll put us there. Oh, no, we want to go oh, to the, the edge. Oh, we want to go to the edge. Okay. Yeah. To the edge. Um, I am going to take the infamy and uh, gain it as a uh, skill instead. Okay. 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 So. Uh, Eight on two. two. Okay, here we go. Uh, threat plus one. Starting with player with the highest infamy, so we're gonna do the consolation thing. So I've got two. All right, read them. All right. I met a mystic named. Hold on, let me start again. I met a mystic named Twain who was badly starved, and I couldn't just leave him behind. I offered him bed and board if he joined us, and he accepted. I hope he likes being a pirate. Surely his mystical know-how will come in handy. Crew plus one, infamy plus one. Oh, that's good. So that is the first one. 
Well, okay. Second one. Uh, Twain gave me the nicest thank you gift today. I must say, I'm rather touched, though. I'm, ra I'm rather touched, though Candy Seaman kept arguing with the old mystic tries too hard to integrate himself. Personally, I don't mind if he does. Treasure plus one. Okay. I've got, uh, it's you. Do you have one? No, I don't have any. Right, I've got two. I've been doing all the things that help us. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. <laughs> the carrot plague has hit our ship, and many have taken ill, including myself. I feel faint, and I'm sure I've had fever as well, although when I ask others to place their hand on me forehead to check... Oh, wait, i got to do my... <clears throat> they make up a ridiculous excuse. It's like, there's no skin on your forehead, or you can't be sick. You're a magically animated skeleton. <laughs> but I'm trying to rest and drink plenty of liquids. <laughs> and for me, plus two. We roll plus two. Okay, and then... Okay, then my next one. Uh, time's a lean. The captain has asked us to ration our supplies for the time being, specifically myself. I have offered to give me up a share of food for now because in place of the happiness and well-being of the ship before me own, and not because I'm a magically animated skeleton and doesn't need to eat. I mean, <laughs> come on. Gain one skill of your choice, supplies plus three. Oh, jeez. That was needed. Okay. Why, why do you keep on insisting that you're not a magically animated skeleton? I am not a magically animated skeleton. Just get that... Out of your head, okay? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, I guess we're talking if you're going to take it. All right. Counter, you up. All right. I have an event as well. Okay. One upside to knowing me fate will be sealed in the future is that I have very little fear of meeting my end in the present. I've started to cultivate something of a reckless and Davy may care attitude from charging the enemy to use in a swab in combat. Short stand copper made me this tunic to commemorate my newfound bravery. Uh, retrieve card 11, the bullseye tunic from the story deck. <laughs> oh, oh, I did oh, it, guys. Oh, oh, yeah, I've done 11. It. You've gone and done it. 431. Oh, boy. Okay, we're okay. 38, 37, <laughs> 32, 31, there we go. Alright, card 11? Yep. <laughs> when you gain this card, uh, gain plus one reroll. Before performing an aim check, you may discard the reroll token to add four to the result. No? Oh, that's, that's good, because I have awful aim. <laughs> Excellent. Got a lot of reroll tokens. I sure do. <laughs> All right, so we did move. Yep. Okay, here we go. We're in our new space. Nine seven seven. Is clearing stone written on the ship's log? It is. Yes. Okay, here we go, boys. After days of sailing, the ocean's edge comes into clear view. It is a massive, hazy wall of roiling water and howling. Wind. But you spot a massive ship flying the colors of the Royal Navy, positioned between you and the edge. That's the flagship for the crown! Someone shouts. We have to run. If we turn around now, we might not be spotted. Nonsense! Captain Vance has fire in his eyes and the clearing stone in his arms. We sail for the ocean's edge. If Captain Razor stands in our way, then it's Sir Davy Jones Locker with him. As you approach the ship, you see the Royal Sailors and Captain Razor, the most feared man in the Royal Navy, standing on the prow, looking pleased to see you. The ship gets close enough for you to hear Razor shout out, I'll be having that stone, Vance, and your heads. Remove special location token 962 from the game. Turn to page 57. Set dial A to 10. Oh, Set geez. dial B and C to 5. Well, it sounds ship. like Barbosa from... It's a ship of the line. Alright, so now we're going to have to do our thing. 10-5-5? Yep. Um, okay. Just uh, so you know, we only have one cannon that's currently loaded, and it's a plus three. Okay, I'll do... Um, I've got a magnetic stone thing that gives me plus one for aiming, just so everyone's aware. I'll do a uh, side swipe. Good sure. Okay. Oh, that's right. Um...
Load the cannons. Guard the captain. That's actually the brown one. I think. Alright. Okay, so I got decent brawn. Load the cap load the cannons. So what are we gonna do? Choose two of the following. Yep. Spend one supplies to flip one cannon from its unload side to load. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Uh Infamy plus one may choose multiple times. Uh reroll plus one. Um up to yeah, I'll increase my infamy. Um okay. Yeah. Okay. And so I I don't gain anything. Okay. Yeah. Fire the cannons. Aim plus one. Yeah, my aim is max two, so I'm not ever gonna do that. I only have two. Oh yeah. Yeah. Also, same. <laughs> um, okay, so choose one of the following targets: enemy hull, dial A. Uh, enemy sails, dial B. So, what does killing the sails do? Uh, we board them. We board them. Right. Perform an aim check, and before rolling, you may flip one loaded cannon to its unloaded side. And so, then what does world's dial C? The captain, our captain. Oh, he captain Vance. Yeah. Oh. Um. Okay. So that's why we always have to protect the captain. Mm-hmm. Do we want to try going for boarding or killing it? Uh, it's got ten there. Ten. Yeah. Um, uh, boarding. It's ten five five. Yeah, I think so. I think that's the only one we can get down quickest. Okay. Well, we'll aim for the sails then. Okay. Um, you have a plus five or a plus three if you're going to use them. Uh, it's plus five. We'll do plus five. Yeah. Okay. Why not just do the best? Okay. Well, I have two dice, that's right. Hold on. Uh, this sad. Uh, sad. Okay. So, Reroll. Sad. Oh. oh, sad. Okay. Good God. Spend the reroll. Two and then a one. Well, because you've... I think you just reroll one now because you... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so just reroll one and yeah. you better than a one. Okay. Okay. So, plus five is ten, plus three is thirteen, plus one is fourteen. Oh, okay. good. Reduce targeted dial by two and infamy plus one. Okay. Okay. So B by two? Yep. So now three. Okay. okay. Um, then uh, sideswipe. Uh, navigation plus one. Okay. Uh, then perform a navigation check and uh, do a navigation check and subtract so value of dial B from your result. Okay. Good thing we got that. Down. No, I got a misfortune. Uh, okay, so that's fine. Um, six plus one, two, three, four, ten. At ten. What we got there? Uh, it's whole minus one. Reduce dial A by two. Infamy plus one. Dial by two. Infamy plus one. Yeah, I'll do that. So our whole minus one. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And they lose two, and you get the. Okay. Yep. Okay. Uh, Guard the captain. Um, read entry 525. Yeah! You got plenty of rules, good. Here we go. Yeah. Uh, is Magic Can written on the ship's log? No. No. Oh. Is Fighting Razor written on the ship's log? No. No. What did that one you skipped say? I don't know. Can I go back? No. Uh, oh, it's the top. Top. The arrow. Maybe. Yeah, okay. At the helm written on the ship's log? No. no. Okay. okay. Sorry. Okay, here we go. Captain Razor swings over to your ship, and everyone gasps in awe at his radiant manliness. <laughs> he can get it! <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's right! Agrees the guy right next to her. Captain Razor draws his and storms toward Captain Vance. Stop fawning over him, you fools! You shout. Defend the captain! Alright, uh, attack Razor head on or sneak behind Razor? Um. Attack head on, because, I mean, I can't die. This is not my time to die. <laughs> right? Fighting Razor on the ship's log. Perform a brawn 2 check. Or a brawn, just brawn check. Sorry. Okay. That's so two. I've got a brown of four. Okay. So oh, nice. Oh. 16? Yeah, yeah, great. 13 plus. plus. You're successfully... Oh, sorry. You successfully <laughs> defend the captain. Reroll plus one. Infamy plus two. Plus one. You're the green, right? Yeah. yeah. So you're up here. 
And done. Uh, Luna Fubi plus two. Yep. Uh, I'm going to actually take one as a. Yep. Okay. Okay. Um, and then. Eight, uh, two, seven. Yep. Yarn. Is dial A to zero? No. Is dial C to zero? No. No. Roll a die and add the value of dial B to the result. 15. 13. 13. 13. Oof. Oh boy. Reduce hull, crew, and or supplies by a total of 5. Oh. Reduce, reduce dial C by 2. So, alright, so um, uh, crew, we can do probably 2, two by and crew. Then, I can do I 1 for supplies. 2 hull, I guess, yeah. Dicks, okay. Yep. Just on two hull left. Okay. Want, uh, do we want to go more? Uh, one more supply, keep the hull. Yeah. 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 Um, okay, begin a new round on this page. Okay. So. Um, all right. I'm last. Um, uh, catch them. Uh, we'll, we need to sideswipe again. Um, I'll light it through. I'll gather debris. Okay, so your captain's going to die. Alright. <laughs> well, it's a uh, brawn check. You oh, yeah, I got brawn, right? I got three brawn. Yeah. Uh, oh, he's got three, four, f No, no, oh, oh, three. three. Oh, okay, yeah. total. All right. well, well, let's see what happens. Rally the crew. Um, rally the crew. So, All right, swagger plus one, then perform a swagger check. D three. Um, you roll that. Yikes. Uh, so what's, let's see, three, four, five, twelve, five, six, seven, eight. Five. So it's one through six, seven through twelve, and thirteen. Okay, I'll six, I'll choose two. Um, choose you can another player, the player gains one skill of your choice. Choose another player, that player gains two rerolls. And uh, replenish dial, reduce dial A or dial B by one. Um, so we can get the sales down to two. Yeah, I'll do dial B. Put that down to that, and then uh, uh, make sure you then choose another player. Um, what do you mean? Uh, I'll give you a brown check thing. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, sir. <coughs> All right. Fire cannons. Aim one. So now my aim is up to four. So we only have one cannon that's loaded right now. Yeah. Yep, it's only a plus three. We'll take the plus three cannon. Okay. Um, we will shoot at the sails. Okay. Okay. Nine, okay. Twelve. Uh, nine plus four is thirteen. Plus one is fourteen. Plus, plus three. three. Plus three. Okay, so, so that's seventeen. Seventeen. Uh, reduce by two plus one infamy. Yep. Okay. So that takes down to zero. Down to zero. Okay. Okay. And then uh, gather debris. All right. Um, I get a hunting plus one, <coughs> which I need a story token. Thank you. So, there we go. And then I have to perform a hunting check. Alright, so I have a 15 total. Okay. Which, um, I get to choose three options. Okay. I can choose between getting plus one supply, plus one treasure, or plus one reroll. I may. Uh, yeah, supply I'm gonna dump all three into supplies. So okay. Three supplies. Yep. Okay. Because you can use that to take yep. hits. Okay. All right. Guard the captain. Okay. So what is it again? Five two five. Yep. Is magic can written on the ship's log? Nope. Nope. Is at the helm written on the ship's log? Nope. nope. Is fighting razor written yes, on the yes. ship's log? soldier threatens to overwhelm you both. To make matters worse, you notice the wheel is now unmanned, and the ship has started drifting at the whim of the ocean's edge, all while being hammered with cannon fire from Captain Razor's ship. Continue to defend the captain and call to the nearest crew member to man the wheel. Leave captain, uh, how continue to defend him. While at right, at the helm, on the ship's log, 
Perform a swagger check. Oh, okay. yeah, this is what we needed. All right. So I have five, six, seven, eight, plus nice. eight. I'm going to see 13 plus. Okay. Nine, okay. Yep, nine plus eight, so 17. Yep. All right. You successfully gain the attention of Winnie LaRue, who quickly jumps into action and grabs hold of the wheel. Her expert steering gives your cannons a clear shot into the enemy's hull. Reduce dials A and B by one. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. All right. So that's seven and zero, respectively. Okay. So then we're done, right? Eight to seven. Eight to seven. What did C start at? C started at five. And we lost three. three. All three. So we're now okay. down to two. Okay. Yep. Is dial A to zero? No. Is dial C to zero? No. Dial B should be zero. We didn't, didn't ask. Didn't ask. Uh, Were we reducing the right one? Yep. We B B a sales. Yeah, B's enemy sale. Uh, yep. uh, are you sure you didn't do that like double skip? Yep. I can. Okay. I'll go back. Check. Nope. C A C. Uh, okay. Nope. Nope. Okay. Roll a die and add to the value oh, of okay. B to the result. Okay. okay. So roll a die. Okay. Three? Three. So just three. One to six. Here we go. Reduce haul crew and supplies by a total of three. Begin a new round. Yeah, just so dump I'll do all the supplies, dump all the supplies to two. Right. Oh, so the reducing the sales makes it easy it makes it less damage in between rounds. Yeah, so yeah. now we just gotta hammer the hull. Okay, ready? Uh yeah. Um you. Okay. Oh, it's me. Okay. So you have something to shoot with. I'll gather again. Okay. Um. Okay. Reload. Two to the following. Plus, spend a supply. Flip a can. Give me the plus five. Yep. Um. And I guess uh, I'll take a reroll. Okay. Get a name. I get better as I keep shooting. Good. Good. Okay, um, so we will take the plus five cannon and we'll start shooting at the hull. Okay. okay. Eight plus five is thirteen. Plus is everything else you got? Plus one, two, three, four, five is eighteen. Nineteen. So, so you need to use the fiber? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we got nineteen? Yeah. So reduce the dial by three plus three and three. Yeah, as best as we got. Four. Okay. Alright, so we have four hull left on A. Okay. All right, so I am going to get another hunting, and I will go ahead and roll again. So that's six. Did you six. have so many rerolls? Yeah, just burn them. <laughs> Unless you can. I mean, I'm already over it. I'm hitting thirteen, so I already get three. Okay. Yeah. I already get, right. yeah. Oh, okay. Um, so all three on supplies again. Okay. All right. Defend the captain. Five to five. Magic can? No. At the helm. Yes. yes. You catch Captain Vance as he recoils from Captain Razor's slashing blade. Oh, we're not doing so well, are we, me matey? Captain Vance asks as he coughs up some blood. I think it's time for me secret weapon. What's that, Captain? You ask, wondering if the old man has finally lost it. Here you go, me matey. Eat this. You peel back the lid and spy an odd green mush inside. This will make any sailor as strong as an ox. He insists, <laughs> trust me. I'll eat the green oh, yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> eat the mushrooms. You slurp down the can of mushrooms as quickly as you can. As it slides down your throat, you feel a power growing inside you. But before you grasp what is happening, Captain Razor appears behind you, his blade lifted high, aimed at the center of your back. You dodge out of the way and strike Captain Razor with a forearm that has grown several times the size it once was. <laughs> the blow sends Razor flying, giving you more than enough time to gather up the captain and get him to a safer place on the ship. That tasted like spinach, you say. <laughs> was that spinach? <laughs> that would be ridiculous, Vance laughs. How would spinach do that? Ah, <laughs> oh, matey, those were the brined and shredded 
genitals are sea cows. <laughs> Bright magic can. That's oh, fantastic. Reach me the part of 12. Can of magic. Stuff from the story deck. Can of magic stuff. Next time you perform a check, add 10 to the result and return this card to the story deck. Holy oh, crap. Okay. So what do we really need to have happen this turn? Um, Sure. So okay, so we're up. Kill the ship. Uh, we need a few of us need to fire. fire. Okay. Well, I can fire and he can fire. Eight to seven. Eight to seven. Uh, is A to zero? No. Is C to zero? No. no. Okay. Roll, Roll die. die and add C or D. Oh, 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 nice. B. So no. Okay. One to six. Reduce hull supplies by uh, three. So I'll just do. Yeah. Yep. Or yeah, one. one. Yep. Begin a new round. All right. Here we go, and timer's up. So you and him need to fire the cannon. I'll reload. Though yeah. I'm last, so actually I yeah. don't. No, fire the cannon. Yeah, yeah we need you to fire the cannon. You got a plus ten. Oh right, yeah. gotcha. You both, because you don't need a cannon. You can just gotcha with plus ten. Yeah. Um, hit none. No, the cannon. All right, it's the last one. Uh, give me the plus five. You want to reload the plus five? All right. Yeah. And uh, I will uh, gain another reroll. All right, you guys, this is it. All right. Even so if you both get two, we we succeed. Game here. one. Um, do you want to take the plus five, or do you want? To... No, I got plus, plus, plus ten. ten. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so yeah. I'll take the plus five. Yep. Yeah. Oh, we, we, okay. Okay. So t plus six, plus one, plus five is twenty something. So, okay. Yeah. So that's so that's uh, reduce twenty four. Reduce it by three. Infamy plus three. Yeah. All right. Okay. All you need to do is hit it. Yeah. <laughs> Just one. Okay. I increase by one, right? Yep. Yep. Um, I will spend this for the ten, so I'm at plus eleven. So seventeen. Uh. Reduce by two. Reduce by two. Yeah. Yeah. You got it. Okay. Nice. Okay. Then uh, grab right. captain. Five two five. All right. <laughs> Never count on Jay to fire the cannons. <laughs> <laughs> the magic can. Yep. yep. Yes. Uh, here we go. What's the matter, Jasper? Razor snarls. You're not fading already, are you? Vance parries each blow aimed at him, but the old man's reactions are clearly slowing. He's not gonna make it. Big Henry cries. We have to help him! Left Eye Laura shouts back. The two pirates work together to pull a cannon out of its placement on the deck and slowly turn it toward the dueling captains. Oh. Help them take the shot. Tell them to put the cannon back. Help them take the damn shot. <laughs> okay. What kind of pirate do you take me for? Perform uh, an aim check. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, you have tons of rerolls. Okay, yeah, alright, okay. alright, alright. So... My bullseye tunic. Before performing a name check, I may discard a reroll token to add plus four to the result. Okay, I do it. Yes. How many can I spend? As many as you want, I guess. Okay. I mean... What's the... Perform a name check. Okay. Uh, 13 plus. So... If you four. get more, you 12. All you have to do is get one. He's been sitting on all these. Like, yeah, just, just do it. He's been sitting on all these. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Then so there's, there's four. All right. I'm just gonna go ahead and roll that. Let's see what you get. I want to see it. I want to see it. <laughs> One. Okay. okay you're good. All right. Here Plus we go. Plus twelve, so seventeen. Yeah. The cannon's muzzle flashes with a boom, and smashing through the railing, the artillery piece recoils right over the ship's edge. When the smoke from the shot clears, you see Captain Vance panting with relief. All that remains of Razor. Is a pair of smoking boots. <laughs> <laughs> Remove one cannon from the ship. Okay, I'm if, gonna toss one of them. Yes. Yep. If possible, fill in one star on your consolation in on your consolation a clear one. Okay. Yep, just a circle. Yeah. Uh, infamy plus five. Okay. Block action six. Well, he's all the way up to the top then. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, actually, I'm not going to. I'm just gonna take it as a uh, skill sure. instead. Okay. Um. All right, then. Uh, oh, so we gotta do the end. Yep. Eight, eight, two, seven. Mm -hmm. Yep. Is dial A to zero? Yes. 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 There we go. Holy. You cannot believe your eyes as razor.
Razor ship begins to sink beneath the waves. The moment you are safe from Razor, Captain Vance grabs the ship's wheel. You watch as Captain Razor's crew members jump ship, while yours drifts into the magical mist before you. You're unsure who is more doomed. But as your ship crosses past the ocean's edge, sailing into that mist, your vessel is not harmed, though it begins to make a terrible creaking noise. Steady now, cries Vance. Rogue waves! Comes a voice from the crow's nest, and indeed your hearts sink as massive waves coming from either side tower over your ship. The crew shrieks in terror as the two waves curl in to crash down upon you. But the crash doesn't come. And looking up, you see the waves have met each other and now form a perfect tunnel of water through which you sail. The tunnel ends in utter darkness. But Vance unveils the clearing stone, and lo, oh, you now sail a black sea from which <laughs> oh. rises a towering column of sculpted stone. Uh, it resembles a monkey with interest. glowing <laughs> red eyes. Its hands are held out as if awaiting an offering. The ship passes alongside it, and Captain Vance tosses the clearing stone into its cupped hands. Lightning stabs the sky as a storm rolls in at impossible speeds. It spreads as if another sun rises up from the depths, and your ship is tossed about on monstrous waves. Strange shapes begin to emerge in the water. In the distance, you see enormous tentacles break from the surface and thrash about. Something else, a winged beast the size of an elephant, bursts up from the water and begins flapping away into the storm. Lights of all manner of color shoot up from below and zigzag into the air. There's a sound, like a horn blowing. And then suddenly, everything goes black. When you come to, heaven knows how many hours later, the sky is bright and blue. And your ship, with no one at their post, is sailing past an island. A quadruple rainbow hangs on the horizon, and you look at each other, marveling at the sights and sounds. Is this the world beyond the edge? Someone asks. But something about the island seems familiar to you. I'm not sure. Someone else answers. Perhaps it is. Or perhaps this is the world we've always known. Only now... It has changed. Captain Jesper J. Vance is nowhere to be found. You spend days searching the surrounding waters, but all you find is a piece of paper hidden in his hat that he left behind. It bears the lyrics to an old children's song that goes, One day I'll pass the ocean's edge to be a pirate true. I'll find a world to be me home with me own loyal crew. I'll ride upon the endless waves and find all treasure new. I'll live the pirate's life one day and bid this world adieu. Congratulations, you have completed this adventure. Return all of the purple cards to the treasure deck. Starting with the player with the highest infamy and proceeding clockwise, each player resolves their consolation events if they have one or more consolation event tokens and then consults the endings chart on the player's sheet and reads their intricate ending. So infamy, so starting with my man. One. So I would like to point out that I have a veritable stack of reroll tokens. <laughs> so if you want me to go through and blow all of them until I pass that check, I will gladly do that. I think that. it's A. I think what he's saying is well, you no, can but, only have spun. Yeah, 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 no, 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 I'm saying like, so that's for the plus four. He would have just reroll them all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. We have to remember any success they have is a filthy cheap game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why I said Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Whoops! I have literally 12 of them. <laughs> when Twain, that old mystic, gave me the ability to convince others with my words, I knew I would have some fun. The effects, however, cannot be ignored. I don't persuade them so much as I magically compel them, and I worry such a thing could get me in trouble more than my usual nonsense. Okay. Retrieve card 89, Vial of Manipulator from the story deck. It doesn't matter anymore. So now, based on how many exclamation points you have, read your story at the back. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, you grant, your grand adventure concluded. You begin to wonder if there isn't some way to practice your unique talents. The answer comes at a port town far to the north, when you are approached by an agent of the Royal Legal Association. 
The RLA has heard considerable things about you from our mutual friend, Stacy. <laughs> Stacy, the agent says, we'd like to make you a royal attorney. You'll be using your talents to keep your clients rich, in power, and far away from the noose, despite their numerous indiscretions. Nay, you cry. <laughs> It'll be a betrayal of everything. I believe in as a pirate. We will make you rich. I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> agree. And quickly sign the pro for a contract. Okay, all right, mine. I got the bad ending. Uh, I only got three. Um, all right, let's see. What's oh, three and five? Jonah and jo okay. Uh, Jonah and Short Stan Cooper. Copper? Cooper? Coopers? Not uh, Cooper. <laughs> Copper. Jonah and uh, let me see. Short Stan Copper. Jonah never let it go. Uh, and eventually they make me realize that in fact it's possible you are a magically animated skeleton. Unfortunately, the novelty of your status has previously deceased. Diminishes the demand for your most pirate for your, diminishes your demand for your most pirate ships, despite your exemplary track record and letters of recommendation from previous captains. You live on forever penniless on the street, where you learn that magically animated skeletons can experience hunger and are incapable of dying from starvation. <laughs> you begin to doubt your existence, wondering if you are somehow being tortured in hells until one night you accidentally scare a passing brick mason who's carrying a sledgehammer. And he proves uh, definitively that a magical animated skeleton can be re-killed. Oh, <laughs> oh, wow. Man, all right. Oh, okay. Okay. Here's mine. Your skill grows and you are soon renowned the world over as one of the greatest sword fighters to have ever lived. But it does little to make you friends and soon you find yourself stranded in a foreign port. As you drown your sorrows in a local tavern, you are confronted by men claiming to have worked for Captain Nobeard the Pirate. You quickly draw your blade, but one of them produces a pistol and shoots you in the gut. Oh. As you slouch to the tavern floor, you lament how a lifetime of studying the sword has done nothing to prepare you for a fight against a pistol. From a sword to a gunfight. <laughs> Let's hear your good one, buddy. All right, so yeah. <laughs> I have uh, an event token to go through sure. first. Um, Let's hear that, yeah. yeah. So... There's that one. And then... The day of my fated end is fast approaching, and to prepare, I've begun training my replacement on the ship. He's a good lad. I knew him from my days on Captain Matt O'Malley James's crew. He'll be a good fit if I don't survive what's coming. I get plus one treasure and plus one crew. Yep. Okay. And what's so your ending? story? And that's four. The good ending. Oh, good. In the dead of night, a ship pulls up along your alongside your own. Naturally, you fear it is the end, but to your surprise, the vessel is crewed by your former mates from Captain... Matt O'Malley James's ship. Stinky Jeff, now Captain Jeff, tells you they have discovered how to break the curse. You go over to the other ship, and there Jeff explains that they have paid big money for magic curse removers. Wooden trinkets you are horrified to see are shaped like a rusty hook. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Jeff, you groan, just as a cannonball punches through the side of the hull. It seems someone on your other ship has accidentally fired off one of the cannons, and the other morons, sure something is afoot, begin firing the other artillery pieces as well. It figured, you sigh, as you stoically surrender to fate. So. All right. So, okay. And that was the good end. <laughs> <laughs> so that was Forgotten Waters by Plaid Hat Games. Uh, if you really like to go check it out. Um, Evan's played this three times now? Uh, I played this scenario and the second scenario. Okay. And so how different has it played out for you each time? Uh, quite a bit. So at, when you start the next one, yeah. uh, because we've unlocked magic, you had all the magic treasures in. Yeah. The deck because that exists now, and you hit some different scenarios. I don't want to. Oh yeah, yeah, get, yeah. Get into that, but uh, um, no, it's actually the second one was good. This uh, second one was very good. This this first one though, like, was awesome. Like, yeah, super cool. Like, ton of uh, fun. I I love the the app and the interaction with that, so you don't yeah. have to read them all. Well, it's cool. It's like you're playing a uh, um like a, a pen and paper game almost, except yeah. you don't have to have somebody be the guy who's got to read everything and sit out. Like the game kind of takes all over that for you. So. Uh, that's super cool. And even if we did goof the ending, uh, that was pretty exciting. Because we got pretty, there's a time when before, like, yeah, yeah but through. Connor's right. He had enough rerolls that we would have gotten it eventually. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So. I mean, like, we, but we had some times, like, uh, we almost lost. Oh, yeah. We were how much of a buzzkill yeah, yeah. that would have been if we uh, actually got a bad event. We just yeah. lost, like, middle there. So. And it's really interesting, too. I like the star system, and I like trying to level up your character so you get the good stories. Because yeah. Even though it meant zero to the game and like winning or losing, like reading that bad story just sucked. So yeah. <laughs> I, you know, it's like, oh, I just died great. I don't know what happens to me along the way, but apparently 
being targeted by stand-up comedy club forces you to accept eventually magically in things. <laughs> but uh, uh, no, that was excellent. Um, All right, cool. We'll see what uh, we got up next. But uh, for now, um, yeah, thanks everybody. Uh, we're gonna be streaming some more games. Maybe today, maybe in a week. We don't know. We'll see. But thanks for watching and uh, join us next time. All right, what we got?